That was right into the mic. <laughs> you literally was pointed true. that oh, right into the mic. <laughs> yeah. The horn has been sounded. It is time for high roller Oh my god, I'm pogging. <laughs> <laughs> the pog horn has sounded. Oh. Poggers, uh, blow us pog. the pog horn. Uh, oh, my horn is a pog. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's one Welcome. Of those days. It's one of those. It's hey. It's one of those days. <laughs> Just one of those days. Welcome to oh, high rollers D and D. I'm your dungeon master, Mark Sherlock Humes. Joining me this week. As always, the wonderful players. We got Ree, we got Trot, and on the other side, we got Pog Tom McCauley and Colgan. Katie. Hi. Pog Corley. Tom. Tom. Pog Corley. Tom. Tom. Pog Corley. Pog Corley. Pog Corley. Pog Corley. Um, sadly, no Kim this week. Uh, she's not feeling very well, so F's in chat for Kim. Big F's. Basically, Big she's, yeah, she's not got F's. Okay. F's Pogs in, in chat. Pogs in Pogs chat for Kim. So Pogs. Blow the Pog Horn! Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so no Kim this week, uh, which is a shame, because uh, I know she was super excited for this one, she so was. send her lots of uh, love in chat, please. And on exactly Twitter and what happened to me two yep. weeks ago. Yep. I was it, livid. These a... guys were getting messages the whole stream of me being like, I'm so annoyed right now. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we can replicate that for Kim today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no major intros uh, to talk about. We did miss out uh, on last week, so sorry about that. We uh, there's, a, there's a load of illnesses going around the UK, and so a couple of us were feeling a bit poorly last week. I'm we'll riddled. <laughs> That's a With fun. <laughs> <laughs> With <laughs> hype. <laughs> oh, God. I'm infectious. <laughs> With hype. I've been diagnosed. With ligma. <laughs> With ligma. <laughs> Re. <laughs> Don't God stop. Sake. You're getting to the point in pregnancy where if we make you laugh too much, that baby's coming out. <laughs> That's a really good point. <laughs> so we can't. Either that, that or that she's much. gonna wet herself. Yeah. Either yeah, way. One of those. Yeah, tutorial. we need to get the plastic. We, we need to get the plastic sheets <laughs> down soon for Re. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, no major. <laughs> Can we get a new emo? I want the Poghorn as an emo. Pog Pog horn. Horn. Yeah. Blood, and it needs horn. to be three emotes wide. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really long. It's like me doing like this. <laughs> yeah, a big long horn. Oh, well, that first one isn't going to get... That's not going to get a piece <laughs> in any way. I don't know what you're talking about. That's a totally innocent gesture. Yeah, it's fine. I'm clearly... One. The horn. There it is. There's the emote still that you can take. He's just given you the opportunity to just pause it right there. Well, it's Listen, animated. There's, there's enough out there of me. People can do a lot of things with the pictures of me out there. Anyway, with that, uh, we don't have anything really to announce this week or anything like that, so we're just going to jump straight into those dun-duns and then crack on with a pretty, pretty epic session. Mm -hmm. Maybe, hopefully, we'll see. Hello, welcome back to High Rollers. The champions of Aroes fought and defeated Stonemore, one of the great beasts of Atelicus, only to discover that the Beast Titan of Survival had been waiting for them to do so. Learning and evolving himself based on their battle, Atelicus emerged from his demiplane near the halls of infinite resplendence and showed his true form, a giant 500 foot tall monstrosity of incredible power. Realising this, the party began to debate what their plan should be, if anything, to attack this creature when they were approached by the Titan Cyana and the Eterna Tassadar, who had sought information about Atelicus and learned that Hadar may have infected his mind and be responsible for the Titan's mad plan to consume Siaska and Cyana to become stronger. With no magic or weapon on Erois able to fight the evolved Titan, the champions called for the Astoria to come and aid them with Magitek, but needed to buy time. 
So Nova Vija contacted Callus Valkyrian and requested his aid in defeating the Titan. Callus agreed on the condition that they meet with him alone before they awoke Siaska. With their agreement, Callus prepared to come and aid them directly, but also sent aid in another way. A As Pog. <laughs> you. Sorry. You. That's where you wanted to shoot <laughs> like Pog in. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. It was just what was awful. words that rhymed with Pog in this recap? Now, what, hang on. Sorry, Mark. So what Please was that continue. word? There was no word was that, no rhymed word with that rhymed with Pog. <laughs> no, I was, no waiting. I was waiting for one I gave up. And he I, gave up? <laughs> hang on. What, <laughs> what word were you waiting for? I wasn't waiting for a word. Oh, OK. I was, I was <laughs> but then I didn't. In the recap, just he just happened to throw the word Bog in there. <laughs> Anyway, thank you. Rihanna and I just stopped crying. So, uh, a tele- uh, Callus sent aid in another form as the, the sky city of Cassatoris appeared above the ocean and emitted, sort of created a teleportation gate beneath the city from which a 300 foot tall magical construct Vanguard Alpha appeared, splashing down in the ocean. Nova was given uh, full administrative control over the program, and the group of you flew out and boarded Vanguard Alpha, where you began to become familiar with its controls, and now you have begun an attack against uh, Atelicus himself. I don't think we're familiar. We are not familiar yet. Not familiar yet, but uh, a couple of quick things. Uh, The battle so far, you have barely really scratched Atelicus's carapace. You have dealt a few minor blows, but even they seem to have almost been regenerated quickly by this point. Uh, and your own Vanguard Alpha has sustained somewhat considerable damage uh, with uh, one of the arms nearly at breaking point and sort of damage across the rest of the Titan itself, across the rest of the construct itself. Um, Atelicus very clearly has grown bored with this sort of game that he's been playing, sort of batting you around and swiping you to and fro, uh, and just basically grabs one of the legs uh, of the Vanguard and with a mighty throw, hurls you meters, meters, perhaps even several miles through the air, splashing down into the ocean and begins making his way towards the Halls of Infinite Resplendence with just a booming like, enough, I tire of this. The Vanguard Alpha, low on power as it is, you feel that the energy core has nearly been drained through the efforts that you've made so far. Several systems overloading and breaking. You begin to hear a voice, uh, an elderly halfling voice that will speak to you. (coughs) I don't have much time left, and I was planning on giving myself over to Siaska when Atelicus was defeated anyway, but I think... You might need a bit of a lift up, my dears. I'm going to give you what I can, and then I will release my spirit to see Asuka. Maybe this will give you enough to buy us the time we need. You begin to hear, not from inside the mech, but from the Halls of Infinite Resplendence, miles and miles away, but this soft song almost being carried on the waves and on the winds. A lament for the world of Arois, a song about the stories and its people and the everyday life of Arois. The cooking at home, uh, the uh, birth of a child, the uh, festival of celebrating a harvest, uh, a first date, uh, building a home. Simple pleasures, but things that matter to the ordinary people. And this lament seems to carry miles and miles and perhaps to cover the entire world. And then you begin to see the power levels on Vanguard Alpha filling as this song energy almost seems to coalesce in the core itself. And you watch as they almost exceed past uh, the actual limits of the Vanguard, of the construct, the Magitech itself, as the Vanguard's energy is not just restored, is actually increased to 25 uh, as you are maxed out on energy. Oh boy. Up from two. Yes. As Sayana will give the last remaining bit of her divine spark and power to hopefully buy enough time for you to uh, awaken Atelicus and hopefully 
bring out this infection of Hadar that you know resides somewhere in him. Uh, you just need to find a way to coax it out or to slow him down long enough for perhaps the Astoria or Callus to arrive and provide support. Uh, just need to properly enrage him. Yes. The other thing I'm going to do, and this is less of an in-character version for it, uh, I've made some adjustments to how the Vanguard works and to the, how the uh, the mecha rules function, just to make things a little bit easier because we were having a bit of a hard time last time and uh, the numbers weren't quite right. It wasn't just the math. It wasn't just the rolls that were bad. The rolls were bad. But, the rolls yeah. were bad, but there was a little bit of uh, game mechanic stuff. So you'll find it easier to do things like teamwork actions, but the cost is now going to be that you're going to lose out on potential attacks and potential ability to maneuver and, and dodge out the way of abilities and things like that. So you're going to have to mitigate it that way. And also to represent you guys being thrown around. Okay, so we get launched pretty much the other side of the map. Yeah, and we're going to assume that you're a little bit like not... This map is very sort of uh, abstract at this point, but you guys are basically thrown far enough away that by the time you kind of catch up to Italicus, you're now kind of separated by a little bit of distance. So is he heading... Towards uh, the halls of influence. So we are splinters. kind of yeah. still. Ahead yeah, of you're going to be able bit. to sort of intercept, but mm. uh, sort of threw you away to kind of just board, just yeah. sort of like, yep, done with you now. I have a mission. I, I need to go and Which consume. Which way is the halls? Is so that assume, way? yeah, basically Straight towards okay. cool. towards camera, uh, towards okay. the bottom of uh, stage. Bottom. Stage, <laughs> stage <laughs> bottom. Stage bottom. Stage S. Definitely not I can't remember, not what, it. Like, I remember what, the, what front of stage would be, but like the lower part of the screen. Oh, Front of stage. Front of stage. <laughs> Front of stage. <laughs> All right, it's been a long time. It's been like 20 years. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> um, but yeah, and that is where we are going to literally pick up uh, with this uh, on this side. Uh, okay. So... <clears throat> the way this works for Katie's benefit, um, rather than being a normal initiative, basically, Katie, you guys uh, each get one action on your turn. Uh, you've got all the different sort of mecha systems that you can use, the vanguard construct systems. Um, the way it works is you choose who goes in what order. Okay. Um, one of you will have to fill in for Kim as Nova as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And then in between when you take an action, I get to take an action as a telekiss, then you take another action, then I take an action, so yeah. on and so forth. One of us, um, one of him, one of us, one of him. Yeah. Um, and we're going to basically start you off at three movements away from a telekiss. So you're basically like three, imagine you have like increments of movement. So like one move is one increment, and we're going to start you off about three increments away. Uh, call it, we'll say three miles, and you can move one mile per, per action <laughs> with those big long legs. Unless we propulsion wing yeah then you can fly you'll still move about the same rate but you means that like you get off the ground and you can like go up into the air away from like his melee attacks and stuff like that as well mm. and you do technically move faster so i might make you move like two two segments we start with us uh yeah it always starts with you guys yep you guys always have the initiative uh so it always begins with you guys and then so, so you guys get five actions and the telecast gets four basically so yeah. it starts and ends with you get me the air is not bad shout we could propulsion wing that's six energy to use or we could just use our legs and dash. I mean, we're three away from him, but we could just get in front of him if he's heading towards us. Yeah, just true. block his path, and I guess that will piss him off. It will piss him off, and then I'm. I want to. So if you want to do that, it'd be like two movements to basically like get in front of him, or like kind of like get Wait in position, and then yeah. he'll probably because he'll probably engage you with one of those. So maybe it might even only be like one movement in theory. I mean, after throwing us away for us to just if stand up in attention. front of him. Again, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I also want to eventually re-up the Gideon shield again because, I mean, it's costly every turn and it's costly the first turn as well. But we are quite this low on chestnut, a eh? this old <laughs> chestnut. It it, it, it it seems sense. It mitigated a yeah. lot of damage. And also, I've made it so you get a little bit more energy back each turn now. So you should okay. have a better time of getting more energy back. Cool. So it should make things using like the shield and the propulsion and the beam sabers a bit easier. Um, but yeah, you guys pick who you want to go first. So imagine also like in character, you can say, you know, have that discussion in character, right? Like if you guys want to debate what you're going to do, do it do it as your characters. Um, you can always talk OC as well, but... I think Lucius would say something like, let's not use Cyan's final grant of energy in vain. Let's show Telicus what Eros is truly made of and remind him. Uh, All right. Do you want to take the first turn, then, Lucius? I will encourage the mech to move right. in front. So like Quill the... says, I'll probably agree with Quill. It's like, let's intercept Atelicus where he's headed. Okay. Right. Yeah. So can we use a dash as... Yeah, so you, it's basically you move automatically. Like, you just move in a direction you want to go. If you want to go further, though, that's probably going to be an action. 
I think I, Lucius would use his. Or you could use like range. You've got range weapons and stuff as well. Don't forget, you've got like the propulsion fist and stuff like that True. as well. I um, guess we could propulsion fist on the way in. And yeah. I am the advantage. Think of this there. as like, you oh, know, true, yeah. you guys are going to clash, right? Like, this is Pacific Rim Godzilla. Like, he is like moving through the water and you're like running to intercept. But on the way, you could be like, this is like a, hey. <laughs> yeah, hey, look. Like, and that's I'm the thing. If you don't you. attack him, he'll probably keep moving towards the horse. Yeah. Sprint. You land a solid blow. He's going to do that. Oh, yeah. Turn and face you thing and be like, what? All right. Oh, so it's not like he. <clears throat> I was wondering if his speed was so much that he's just gonna <laughs> go right past us. I don't know how fast he Maybe. is. Maybe he does move pretty quickly. Yeah. All right. I'll do a propulsion fist then on my turn. All righty. Take it away. So read three us out. Three energy. So. So yeah. Mark uh, off three energy. I fire whichever arm I was, which was the left arm. Yep. Maybe and this is a dexterity check. Yeah. Alrighty. And you do have Bless active from Quill, so you get a D4. Everybody gets a D4 yeah. to ability checks. We're saying that normally it's attack rolls and saving throws, but for this I'm saying it also affects the ability checks as well. Bless this mech. Uh, 16, 18. 18's enough. So you watch so as the left, advantage. left arm. I do have advantage. You do as well, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get a natural, natural 20. That's a natural 11. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with the left fist, you kind of aim it, and you watch as, kind of propulsed by blue and orange energy of, uh, of Lucius's magic, this fist kind of launches forward, blasted forward like a missile of magical uh, energy, and just <laughs> clocks him across. We're not Where done, do, you want to do you want to strike the head, the torso, the arms? What do you want to go I for? Think I'd go for the head to like, like try and throw him off kilter a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Uh, so roll the damage on the propulsion fist. That's three d ten plus yes. thirty, and it does stagger the target. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's not a good roll. Nine plus thirty. Thirty nine. <laughs> so, yeah. So his armor will absorb uh, some of that, but still a blow. So you watch as the fist kind of. <laughs> and it begins to slowly return to reconnect to Vanguard Alpha's body. Uh, as it returns, you see Atelicus just like, You have proved no more than a gnat. What makes you think this will be any different? Don't count us out just yet. Nice. All right. Team engage! <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that. Uh, perfect. Propulsion right. fist! Uh, well, Atelicus <laughs> will... Yes. yes, indeed, okay, turn nice. towards you um, and yeah. is just going to use, yeah, basically his action to close the distance. Uh, and then he will. Did someone else get, get like horror on. Bowser vibes from yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, Giga Bowser. Ter 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 uh, the Tarasque, which is this mini miniature, is based on the Tarasque, is very Bowser, sort yeah. of like evil cool. Mega Bowser. Um, but yeah, Atelicus will basically use his action to just begin moving charge. up and engaging. Yeah, he's going to uh, charge. Uh, I will make an attack, uh, and I've changed this. I'm also now to speed up. I'm just going to roll his attacks for him. Okay. Uh, and that is going to be a failure. Uh, so that's going to be a four plus six, uh, which does not beat the DC. So he goes to swing, but this time, like whoosh, almost like the two legs, so Quill and Sentry whoosh, duck down as the fist, this giant claw, just swings overhead, uh, throws it over to you guys. So you're almost like crouched down at this point. I mean, there's no condition, but you guys are, like crouched down as he's just swung this massive claw over your heads. Oh, well, that is the perfect time to use an arm, though. Oh. I could use I, an arm if you want. Do you want me to use a Radiant Saber or anything big? You can also just, you can, yeah, the Radiant Saber's an attack. You can also just use the arm to the just, arm like, to throw just, a punch. I like, could just throw a punch. Yeah. Do you want me to throw a punch as mine? Yeah. Because oh, I'm in one of the arms. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll save the shield for next time. I'll throw a punch. So you want to, like, uppercut yeah, punch, kind of like... Yes. Great. So using an arm, I believe, is just a strength check. Um... And you have a D4 to this as well because of uh, Quill's bless. Use his momentum bless. against him. Just make him run. We into just the use fist. our own stats, yeah. Yep, it's your so it's your strength modifier. So D20 plus your strength mod. Uh, Twenty-one. That is a success, absolutely. So you watch as this fist Ayla now like uh, like a boxer just slams into the bottom of Atelicus's nice. jaw. Uh, what would you? Well, actually saying that, where would you like to target? You can go for the head, the arms, or the torso. You can't hit the legs. At oh, this what point. does staggered mean again? Actually, uh, staggered basically means that like he has like disadvantage on things like attacks and stuff. Ah. A number of uh, actions. Okay. Is there any particular place that's? Mm, I think we hit the torso you, a lot last mm, time. You hit oh, the torso the a fair bit. Yeah. You've well, basically, so far you've hit the the right arm, the head, and the torso. Like, but right there is a the regenerative jaw. effect that, yeah. like, he is regenerating some of himself. But yeah, like where you're crouched down, the easiest place is like, it's knocking up his jaw. Yeah. 
Go for it. So I think this is uh, 3D. Wait, yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah. Is, was that a unit armor? 22. Ability? Yes, that was. So one energy. 22 plus 10. Oh, sorry. Uh, 22 80, plus 10, uh, so 32. Plus... Every action we have to say our moves. Except uh, only if you're using a signature system. No, 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 no. Every, only if you're using you a to, signature system. You even if it's, even if you make <laughs> If you would punch. like to, like, like, this could just <laughs> be... A poor cut! Taylor <laughs> Punch! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, Punch! <laughs> you see that, like, the armoured form of, of Italicus does kind of take the blow, hef like, quite well. Um, and it does kind of, like, uh, kind of shock him a little bit, kind of causing his neck to twist. Um, but it wasn't quite, just didn't have quite the swing to it uh, as it kind of collided in. Um, but yeah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna say add your strength modifier to that damage for future rolls when you make a punch. So like, it'll be d10, uh, 3d10 plus 10 plus your strength mod. So I'll add plus another seven. seven on there as well. Uh, Hell yeah. And then the same will be for like Strong! Lucius and that you guys, like <laughs> Lucius, if you use propulsion fish, you'll add your dex mod to the damage and stuff like yeah. that as well. Um, cool. All right. Nope. So nope. yeah, like you watch as this punch, it kind of like, um, and then it's going to retaliate and it's just going to try and chomp down uh, with disadvantage. Uh, Got to find his attacks here. Uh, let me find his attacks here. Yeah, let me find his attacks here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Alrighty. Oh, that's a natural one. Oh, yeah, disadvantage anyway, but I forgot. But yeah, natural one. So he tries to like chomp down, but uh, Lucius and Ayla, you kind of grab the giant jaws and you're kind of holding the mouth open as it's trying to bite down on the shoulder of the left arm and the torso. <laughs> Like holding it off, no like, touchy. Uh, not quite a grab, but like just defending yourselves currently temporarily. Um, but yeah, throw it back over to you guys. Kick him in the mouth. Kick him in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I'm activating the shield. But if you want to kick him in the mouth, kick him in the mouth. Do you want to do shield then kick him in the mouth? I, I can. Or... Nova's like, I can also use the missiles as well. Like we've got, we've gained those back now. Good Might idea, be Nova. good to just actually just I mean, pummel it. You are holding his mouth open right now. Just oh, shoot them right forward, in there. Just fire the missiles mouth. down his throat. <laughs> Do that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 when he goes it's to six bite. Energy, but hopefully we can get that back. Now that we've got this boost from, from Sayana, maybe. Do it, Nova. Do it. All right. Uh, so she makes a this will be charisma, charisma for tech. yeah for Nova. Uh, I've got her stats if you want me to. With advantage, because that's her specialized system. Oh, it We're is. Yeah. 15 energy now. All right. Let me just uh, boot up. Come on, D and D Beyond. I'm mm. trying to write on a piece of paper with an Apple pencil. That's <laughs> not gonna work. It's all good. I'm pretty sure that she has a plus five, but with advantage, right? Yes. Well, you, actually, you guys should roll this. Like, I can tell the stats and stuff. I'll roll the dice. Points. Yeah. So you should roll you it just roll the dice for me, and then roll badly. The They're pretty terrible. Oh, with, advantage. with advantage. With advantage. With advantage. Nineteen. <laughs> Nineteen plus, plus her five. Uh, 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 plus four. Uh, plus another four. So yeah, more than enough to be a success. Uh, so you watch as yeah, like you sort of holding the as Ayla and Lucius are holding the mouth kind of open. You just watch as uh, Nova kind of brings it leaning forward <laughs> and from the back. Uh, <laughs> these kind of like like leaning yes. into the jaws. I put my yeah, it's almost like magical flares and missiles launch from the shoulders and the back. Um, so this is, on a success, mm. this system deals 1d10 plus 10 points of damage to 1d3 locations that ignores armor. Uh, so uh, do you want to roll a d6 for me, Trot? Yeah. Um, and then you guys can tell me what two. locations. All right, so you get uh, what a two on the d6. Yeah. So, so that means one. two locations, oh, and it's 1d10 oh. plus 10 damage. Which locations would you like to hit? I think head, the head, head is definitely head. one. And, and then the torso. Head. Torso from the inside. Torso, yeah. yeah, I mean, that would make the most yeah. sense. Yeah. Half fire upwards and then half fire forward. Sure. Uh, Tom, roll a d10 for me. Uh, okay. D10. Uh, one d10 or two? Just one d10, because it ignores armor. <laughs> uh, three. Plus so 10, 13. so 13 to both. Uh, hey, I mean, it ignores armor. That's the yeah, yeah. goes right through. It's all damage. So you watch as like, boom, 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 and like smoke begins kind of pouring out of it, like, and it pulls its head back, kind of as you release, and it kind of like reels from the blow now. Um, do, 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 do. Make sure you mark off that energy. energy. Yeah, we have fifteen now. Fifteen. 15. Uh, 15. All right. Yeah, we were on twenty-one before. Yep. Okay. 
Look, Tom, I've got my mech. You do have a <laughs> oh very detailed blueprint there. <laughs> so you guys, so that was, so we've had uh, Lucius, Ayla, Nova go. Just so Sentry and Quill. Sentry, so Telekis has one more action. I'm yeah. just trying to get my head in it. Uh, yeah, I think like he's just going to go for another slam with his other hand. Uh, bring How his... does the emotion surge drive look now that Cyan has done a... Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's full up ready to be used, but it's only got one more use left. But like right it's now... It only has you, one use left. Yeah, it doesn't, it hasn't re regained any okay. of that stuff. Uh, this time, Atelicus is going to succeed uh, with another slam, um, and he's going to go for the left arm, which is currently vulnerable because you used Propulsion Fist. So as it's kind of disconnected Shit. from the body, uh, he is going to strike at that, uh, which is going to uh, deal. Da, 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 da. So has that got 70 health 70 left? Yeah. Well. yeah, this is the left arm, not the right yeah, arm. That's my arm. Yeah, that's Lucius' arm. Uh, so that's going to be... Do, 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 do. Uh, 46 points, Ooh. but remember you take off your armor from that, so which so is currently 18. reduced. Yeah, so 46 minus 18 uh, 50, is 62, right? Wait, no, that's no. adding it. You've gone up 40, 46 <laughs> minus 18. 52. <laughs> Stop you're saying you're still going. Up. You're throwing me off, man. Like that's doing my head. Uh, sure, <laughs> I'll take the. I'll take that. No, no, 38. <laughs> 30. 20. 30. 28, yes, yeah, 28. Sure. Take 28 points of damage to that. <laughs> 52. Stop saying 52. Like, I was just like, my brain was just like. I oh, know, he's right. Um, he's 52. Wow. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's still not broken, though. Oh, I was in, it has 52 it left. Has 52 left. Oh, right. Yeah, so I am right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were just all saying different things. Yeah. <laughs> just because you, I thought you were adding. I was like, what are you doing? No, no, no. Um, but yeah, so you watch as he kind of rips the pieces of armor of uh, Vanguard, kind of get ripped off by as its arm as it rakes its claw down. So that um, is only 12 away from being counted as broken. Mine is only oh, five yeah. away. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It does not appear to be a way to heal. Uh, when you are broken, you basically have disadvantage on it's using broken. that limb, basically. Okay, well, I think now's a good time to uh, re-up that shield. <laughs> All right, so you can take your action over there, Quilly Boy. Yeah, who's left after this Rihanna. then? Yeah, it'll be Re. Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll shield up, which is another four energy. All right. Uh, what does Quill say? I say... Don't worry, everybody. I'm going to bring back Gideon Shield! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is one. You still have to make a check on this one. Uh, uh, constitution. I forgot it was Constitution. You do have advantage, though. I do though. have advantage and, and a, a d4. d4. Uh, oh. Oh, God, this is my blessed dice. It's rolled four every single time. So that's 22. Nice. That's a success. You watch as... You watch kind of the energy levels deplete, but this kind of shimmering, uh, almost prismatic looking barrier, very much like the cradle now, appearing like that Aurora Borealis, oh. kind of. So 11 energy left. And you, we, you can do the, re yeah. the reduction yeah. on the damage and stuff. Yes, so 2d10 on every attack gets right. reduced. And then I think the last thing uh, that Atelicus is going to do, he's going to twist his body. Uh, Faces left side towards you, and then he's going to tail slam uh, with his final attack. Uh, At what? Uh, this would be going, so this would be right side. He's going to go for that right. Oh, arm. I'm out. Well. <laughs> no, well, you say that. Roll a two. It's missed. Ooh, it's failed. Good. So you watch as, like, uh, got one how, how do you guys, is this like dodging? Is this like you bring the arm up and sort of deflect the attack away before it lands? It connects entirely with the shield and we slide back <laughs> to the impact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The water kind of being displaced and pushed back. That's cool. It's as a it big so. smoke cloud and he's looking at us like, yeah, yeah you're dead now. <laughs> and we're still standing there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sentry. Well, a mist cloud. Uh, no. uh, <laughs> I don't know if I to maybe. Jet boost jump back. It's up to you. So we have some space for the next round or to just kick him. How does he look like he's gonna go full charge on us if we He, he does, will. He does it costs him an action to move, so like even if you jet boost away it means one less attack like next turn. Yeah. And depending on what you do at the start of your next turn, you might be able to do something. Like give us a bit more time. Sure, I mean two. Yeah. It makes sense. As part of the momentum of you, sliding back from the tire. Just, yeah, you do what you want to do. Yeah. Into it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll do that then. Yeah, lean into the narrative. I love it. Uh, all right, so I need you to make a dexterity check on this one, please, as this is a normal system. Energy level nine. Energy level nine. 
So you're going to move no matter what. This yeah. check is to see if you move without getting the free hit, basically. Like, basically, like a disengage. Uh, straight. With D4. And a D4. Where are all my D4s? Oh, there they are. Hold on. What's that? One. One. <laughs> Doesn't know what a one looks like. 13. 13 is enough. Uh, so you watch as. Sentry kind of using the momentum of being hit, Sentry then kicks up into the air and you watch as magic, uh, probably looking like the Matrix, like golden energy kind of bursts from the bottom of Vanguard's feet as it begins to kind of glide backwards. It does have to land, it isn't flying quite yet, but it does kind of <laughs> land back up in the water. Jet boosters are like. Uh, and yeah, that is going to be two point. energy for that one, so mark that yeah, off as well. Nine, 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 nine. Uh, where do you want to go with that boost? Well, uh, I just moved you back, but yeah, do you want to go anywhere just particular? Back there, okay. All right. Uh, all right. At the end of the round, this is where everybody uh, needs to make a ready vanguard check. So this is a constitution check from everybody, and I have changed it ever so slightly. So. Wow. Okay, uh, D fours. Regular D4s con. As well. Regular constitution, just const just constitution oh, modifier. Piss. Oh, my blessed dice is coming in strong though. Not going to help. Uh-oh. Unfortunately. 21. 21 from Lucius. 10. 10 uh, from Sentry, that. So, uh, success from Lucius. Sick. Cool, it's not a thing. Failure from Sentry. Yep. Uh, do you want to roll for Nova for me? Just do a constant. 15. 15. OK, success from Ayla. 8. Uh, Nova has plus 3 to this. Uh, 8, so failure from Quill. Yeah. So, failure from Quill, failure from Sentry. 14. 14 is a success. Uh, so, Nova, Lucius, and Ayla are all going to 3 succeed. You're welcome. If you him. succeeded, it's 1d4 plus 1 energy. If you failed, you get 1 energy back. Oh. So I've changed oh, so it. So you always get 5 You always least. get at least 5 energy back at Wow. Time. So, That's so we But your max is now 25 as well. 1d4 plus 1. Yeah, 1d4 plus 1 energy for you guys. For all the successes. Use dice? Yeah, you, well, I don't... No, it, it might just be... screw you? Well, I just... It, no, it did fucking phenomenal. Oh, you've but, touched it though, Katie. Oh, it's ruined. It's the first time I've seen it roll a 2. It's weighing down on two three now. Total. <laughs> three total. Right, so let's Three's count it up. So we got cute. three, four from Quill. Uh, so three from Ayla, four with Quill's one, no. five with Sentries. Yes. Yeah. Um, Lucius. Seven for Nova and Lucius. Combined. So five, seven, so 12 energy back. Wow. Amazing. And your so max is 25. 21. 21. Holy shit. 21. That is a, that's a, that's that was an good. improvement. I mean, a yeah. lot of us succeeded then, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm just listening to Sayana's song on like a boombox. Yeah. I Your repeat. love is lifting me <laughs> higher than I've ever. You know that scene in Ghostbusters too? Yeah. Tom was, doesn't because he's a baby. Well, I was, for some reason, I was imagining the end of the at the end of this fight, the mech is going to walk away. And it's like the end of Breakfast Club. <laughs> <laughs> he just punches the air. Yeah. <laughs> Freeze frame. No, it's the bit where the Statue of Liberty is going through New York and they're oh. playing uh, Your Love. Well, that's love, and they use a Nintendo joystick. Anyway. That's also say on a song. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a pretty good sound. Song, <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Uh, you throw it over to you guys. You guys always kick off. It's always it starts and ends with you. Mm -hmm. So you see a Telecus like looking your direction now. Not massively damaged. Again, still pretty like healthy, but is beginning to look a bit more pissed off. Like just <laughs> looking like, oh, this gnat, this annoying. Bug won't leave me alone to do what I want to do. We're getting there. Oh, I'm gonna really keep the shield up, which is three energy. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, just any anything like that, any 18. ongoing effect costs at the beginning of your turn. Eighteen. Energy. Eighteen remains. All oh, right. Oh, right. Okay, guys. Hey, Lucius. What's up? We've got some distance. Okay. You said very chill. <laughs> Let's, how about... Hey, guys, how you doing? Let's spitball for a second. Yeah, OK, let's just yeah, calm down. Cool. Propulsion wing. Mm -hmm. OK. And we fly in, radiant saber, radiant saber, and then next turn, team, team attack. Star Fury Slash? Are you talking about Star Fury Slash? Star or? Fury Slash. Uh, OK. Um, that sounds good. I, 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 I'll, I'll set us all up. I'll, I'll calibrate the energy levels. Nova will do an inspire leader, I think. Like to, I see. Like, so uh, I think that to start with, she would say, like, maybe I'll do that before anybody else does anything. And then that way you'll get your good, another D4 on your, any nice. checks. Although saying that, mm, oh, yeah, no, you still need to make them. So, so if me and Bree mm -hmm. do propulsion wings, yep. both legs, 
then Lucius Naver Radiant. Radiant. Can do Radiant Saber. Saber. Now, one thing I'm going to point out, the, the teamwork systems, like the propulsion wing and the uh, Great Fury Slash and the Torso Cannon, you basically give up your actions for this round. The effect doesn't come until the end of the round. So you would get that flying stuff at the end after all of the other actions have taken place. So you would you could do those beam attacks now, but they won't get the bonus like damage and stuff that the flying gives you. So it's probably... Because we're not going to get back to him, are we? Unless we just do regular moves on our action. Yeah, well, that's regular the other thing. Nova, Nova could do a regular. Radiance. Nova could basically be like, I could get us in close instead of the inspiring yeah, radiant 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 slash, radiant slash and get ready with the jet boosters. Yeah. yeah. You basically, yeah, you would yeah. have to do the jet boosters. You tell me what you want to do those at the top of the round. You lose two actions this turn. You have three left. And then at the end of the turn, enough. you get the wings. six yeah. energy, seven, eight, nine, 12 energy to do all of that. And basically. so if, if we uh, propulsion wings, does he then get two actions just straight up? Uh, not straight up, but he'll basically like fill in the gaps. So like, yeah, sure. you'll basically lose three. So like, Nova would go now. He'd go. Mm -hmm. You, one of you would go. He'd go. You'd go. And then if he has any left, he'll get that that one in between left at the end. So cool. if we do all of this, we'll be down to two energy. Isn't it? Uh, you tell me. I don't know what your energy is. Six. Do we have enough the next round to do? You'll get a minimum of five. Theory? Oh yeah. No matter what, we yeah. need for six. Star Fury six, so that a uh, minimum we'll get six back next turn. So. And we'll have six okay. left after all of this. Great. So I reckon that's good. And we still yep. keep up Gideon's shield. Yeah. Sure. To take <clears throat> any on. Although propulsion wings also costs two per turn. Yeah. Do it before As this the arm goes. And the sabers. Yeah. Do it before so, this arm so goes. So yeah, six yeah. for all of the things. So long as one person succeeds on the ready vanguard at the end of this we round. We can do it. I know we can. <laughs> I, be I believe Nova that. is now an anime protagonist, by the way. Yeah. Now that I play Nova, it's like whoosh, the goggles have come on. They're now like angled goggles now. <laughs> she looks yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can do it. We just have to have the power of friendship. Oh. I think Kadar's touched her. Yeah. Now I'm touched Kim's by my song. Him somewhere sick in bed going something horrible. Don't you know who I am? Believe in me that believes in you. That is a quote for something, and I don't know what it is. I don't know. But I knew it. He's like, I'm going to do a quote now. <laughs> well. I'll make you eat those words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right, so in order of right. that going off. So you want to get in close, so like Nova would basically take the first turn to move in. Yeah, so we yep. can't inspire. That's just, a, uh, that's just She a can, because you get an automatic move, so she can still inspire. Is that enough to get close enough? Because our jet yeah, yeah, yeah. to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just regular movement, okay. that one. Yeah. yeah. Free movement. Yep, yeah, free move. Cool. That's free movement. Uh, oh, yeah, and that's going to go off on the uh, on Nova's uh, inspire leader as well. Nice. Um, so she's going to give a D4 to everyone else. So you get two D4s to your rolls. Two. Oh, oh nice. yeah, the um, inspiring leader stack. Yeah. yeah. However, let's go. Hello. Turn around. Hello, buddy. And seeing you kind of like charging in as he sees you moving in. Yes. Come to your inevitable doom. And he begins to suck in a powerful breath of primordial magic. Uh, oh. I know what I said. <laughs> I know what I said. Come. What was it with these titans? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a titan that said it. Though, <laughs> so what? That's a I... warrior's challenge. Okay. Come. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you watch <laughs> as uh, Atelicus's body ripples with primordial magic, and you can see this kind of charging energy beam in his mouth. Ooh. This is a... Godzilla blast. Yeah. All right. It's not. So it's over to you guys. Uh, so uh, Re and uh, sorry, Sentry and Quill don't get actions this turn. So it's just Ayla and. But uh, can Lucia's we? Uh, Charge the propulsion wings. <laughs> yeah, that's basically like you. You are like, <laughs> well, let's do it, and like you're both like holding onto yeah. the buttons, and your mind. Either like, side of the screen is yes. one half Split of screen, our faces. Yeah. <laughs> Push the button at the same time. Turn the key. And you want propulsion wings. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you watch as like for Quill, you would see your kind of crystalline slate almost fills with white spectral feathers cool. and it begins filling up like a gauge or a century yours turns the color of the matrix and it begins filling up on those side and you see beginning to emerge at the back one kind of golden angular kind of like uh, planes of light wing and then the other one is like a glorious feathered white um, Hesper wing and it's kind of like and they're beginning to form at the back of the, the vanguard. We're pretty cool. That's pretty fucking rad, bro. <laughs> pretty fucking cool. Um, but you guys don't get turns. You don't get actions this <clears> turn. <throat> well, can we still have the free movement? No. Okay. There is no movement. 
You are charging the propulsion wing system. You get nothing. You get nothing. <laughs> Good day, sir. Good day, sir. <laughs> Ayla and Ayla and Lucius. One of you is you. One of your turns next. Radiant. Yeah, we're gonna saber. both radiant sabers. All right. Well, we'll do one and then. Uh, well, I do mine. It's not attack. advantage. Just get mine out of the way. If you want. Although if I you lose, if I lose this arm, then I'll be at disadvantage as well. So. Yeah. Go first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Strength check. Strength check with advantage and two d fours. Good luck failing. Oh. oh shit! Oh my god! I rolled a three and a four. Yeah. Uh, welcome to last week. Um. Two weeks ago. Two d fours. Got to hope on those two d fours. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. 15, 16, 17. It's a success. Oh! So you watch Ayla kind of like gripping the stick and you watch as, probably I guess for Ayla, like the Radiant Saber would look more like a hammer, right? Like it would almost oh, take on the howling. Yeah. Oh, this, this blue little bit of lightning hammer. around it. Uh, which would you like to strike? He's facing towards you so you can only strike the head and the arms. I will smash him across the face, please. All righty, so roll the damage on the Radiant oh, Saber. 3d10 ignores armor. Head around a fist. <gasps> Oh, hammer fist. Yeah. A three and a four on a d20 feels way worse than a three and a four on a d20. 19 plus. Uh, seven. It is. No, seven. I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> but she brought a three and a four on the d20s and then a three and a four on the d4s. Yeah, one's way worse. So, with yeah. that, in fact. <laughs> Making a meal out of this. <laughs> the, be the lightning beam hammer. <laughs> You slap it across Atelicus's face and you watch as tusks and one of its horns breaks yes. as you have yeah. broken Atelicus's head. Oh. Uh, <laughs> as you watch as all the teeth and the fangs and the horn go spilling into the ocean and you just hear... <laughs> as all he strikes. hears is... <laughs> Sucker! But as you finish, he turns up, and the remaining blast in his no! mouth is going to take his turn, oh, yeah. and he is going to blast you with his primal breath. Every location takes 20 damage automatically. I'm out. Do I get in shield it? You can get in shield it. Oh. I'm still going to Is this against the entire thing or individual places? Uh, this would be, I would say, roll a d3 plus one, and you can affect that many locations. Oh, okay. Uh, d3 Save the arm, bro. <laughs> Uh, five plus, well, so five, four, four locations. Four locations, right. I'm gonna choose the, both arms. The torso is fine. Uh, head, maybe. Head. Both arms, yes, the head. Yes, this will affect the head, yes. And the left leg, so the right leg and the torso. Okay, I'm gonna take full damage. Full. Now you reduce it, two d10s. Four. So every location takes, uh, uh, 20, except for the other ones, which uh, take 16, the ones that cause specified. Bye! So you watch as, I mean, that the beam saber is still active, but you are now at disadvantage, yeah. Ayla, on any checks involving that arm. You can use other systems, by the way, Ayla, it's just that that's like your specialized system. So you can technically do any system action, but it's okay. just you have a ben you have the, you, your strength and your advantage is best used in the, the saber. Um, but yeah, he kind of just blasts his breath and you watch as chunks of armor going away. Because the head also took damage, all of you also take 14 points of damage. Oh. Um, and this also immediately triggers a mishap oh, uh, on the mishap table. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Yay. How much damage? Oh, 14. Uh, yeah, 14 damage to all of you guys. Uh, no, 16 damage to all of 16, you guys, sorry. 16. It was reduced by four. Um, and then, uh, Tom, have you got the damage to each of the locations there? Uh, Which ones did you shield? So I shielded the head, the right arm, the left arm, and the left leg. So they only took um, 16 points of damage. Everywhere else took 20 points of damage. 40. The arms are broken. I'm on Both 29. arms are broken. Yeah. So you watch as like the raw yeah. pieces of armor on like Lucius's now break away, and you, for you two, by the way, Ayla and Lucius, like all of these crystals and sigils and arcane symbols are like whoop, 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 like flashing. Something's red. wrong. Uh, at the same time, that mishap causes a power surge. Oh. The blow caused something to explode or otherwise harm the uh, construct further. Uh, the head. Uh, each time you take an action. The head takes five damage that ignores armor, and you all take a number of damage as well. That cannot be resisted. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, until that mishap is fixed. So you watch, and this is like classic 
Power Rangers, right? You're all doing the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like things are sparking and like flying around and all of that kind of stuff, right? So this is like a power surge is being enabled. Okay, um, mastered out. I've got all the HP for all the places now. But that is his action, Lucius. Well, now my arm is down. You are at disadvantage for any check. Are the the legs out of action? No. For the for the propulsion. The... No, 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 no. If they're not broken, they're fine. I might they're just fine. knee them. Uh, Neotelicus. You can still you use can the arm. You can still do it. You're, you're not going to have disadvantage. But you already had disadvantage because it wasn't then. your... No, no, assistant. he just had normal. It's just he's I'll down do with disadvantage then. But he had disadvantage to use no. the Radiant Saber anyway because no. it wasn't his system. No, you mean to get advantage. Sorry, what's Oh, that? gotcha. Uh, two mishaps or one mishap? Just one. one. Both arms <laughs> broken though. Yeah. One and a four. Oh. So... That's right. We should have had another mishap. Seven. Uh, with both two d4s? Yeah. Oh, you rolled like... I rolled a one and a four. Ooh, it's not good. Mm. So you watch as Lucius tries to bring the Radiant Saber, but the power is just like, ah, it's not... You can't, you can't create the, the, the energy weapon. Uh, at the same time, uh, I will... Unfortunately, you... Uh, uh, the entire Vanguard Alpha, all of you are staggered for five actions. So your next turn, everybody will have disadvantage oh, on their shit. actions. So that was the second mishap. That was the second mishap. And that is just, that remains for five turns. You can cancel it early if you fix it. Uh, there is an option, there is a recalibrate action to try and fix mm. things. Um, that would then be the end of the round. Uh, Lush, uh, sorry, Atelicus gets one more turn before you guys go uh, because of your uh, team action. Um, and yeah, sensing that the the uh, the arms are disabled, uh, he is going to start trying to make a grab against you guys. Uh, so I need, oh, damn it, uh, uh, Ayla, can you make a strength test for me? It doesn't matter. I rolled a natural one. <laughs> so even though the arm is broken, Atelicus goes to grab you, but you just kind of knock it off with the skilled expert of a warrior who knows how to break a grab. This thing is fighting like a primal beast, um, Ayla, and you've wrestled with bears and wolves and creatures of the wild many times before. You know how to sort of uh, get out of their like grabs and their bites and their holds, and you just manage to break away from its grip. I am te rolling terribly for all of his actions. Um, Good! But yeah, you kind of break away, uh, and then that would bring us to... Uh, so that's been one... Oh, he does technically have another one. Uh, so, Lucius, I need you to make a strength check, please, with disadvantage. And 2d4? Oh, yeah, and 2d4. Good. Yep, always add some oh. 2d4. 14. Is not enough. So you watch as now, uh, with the other hand, Atelicus grabs and has grappled the left arm of uh, Vanguard Alpha and has now wrapped his claws in it. And Lucius, you're in like a tug of war with this creature. Um, you will not be able to activate the beam saber whilst it is grappling you in this way. But there is some good news because at the very end, after all of this, you watch as these beautiful, brilliant, luminous wings, one of angled golden light, very guardian and construct like. <laughs> On the other side, this beautiful, white feathered, angelic, glowing, hate light angel. Angel wing whoosh, as the propulsion system activates. Uh, nice, and then we now have. So you are flying. Fly. Yep, um, and you also deal extra damage on melee attacks. You also uh, have a free dodge. And you have a free dodge. So dodge yes. is when I attack. Uh, you can basically one of your actions to, can be to take the dodge action, which means you're basically readying to try and dock out of the way. And it means that you roll, and if you win, if you beat the check, you get to avoid any damage, like kind of how we did it last time. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas this is almost like you spend an action to anticipate an attack. Okay. But now with the flying ones, you get to make one for free each turn. So. Oh, once a turn, yeah, yes. Yeah. Once a combat round, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, nice. And so then it's ready Vanguard. How uh, how much energy have we got now? Is it 12? I math that badly. Don't forget you spent it, so whether it succeeds or fails, six. you spent it. Yeah. We use Remain. three from Gideon Shield and another th six from two Radiant Sabres. Yeah. And another six from Propulsion Wings. Yes, yeah, so we're down to six. We're down to six. Yeah, I forgot about Propulsion Wings. Yep. <clears throat> cool. All right. All right, so I need everybody to make Constitution check. Um, and you get one d4 on this one, unfortunately, as the Inspire Leader uh, Is it disadvantage? Ends. Yeah. Um, it would be a disadvantage for everybody, yes. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm a god king. <laughs> but this will be the end of the staggered really? condition. What? I've got 15 with disadvantage. Well, and and then some. The two on d4. 
Alright, we'll go around once everyone's rolled. So we'll start with Tom. I got an uh, unnatural 20. Unnatural 20, it's a success. 16. Success for Ayla. 10. Failure for Lucius. Okay. You want to roll Those for Nova D4s, man, well. coming in clutch. Uh, Sentry. Mm. Seven, I failed. Seven, I failed. Can you roll for Nova as well for me, Trot? Do you know what a con is? Uh, plus three. Oh, 18 and a 19. Oh. Plus a D4. So plus that's D4s. a pass. Yeah, it's got to be a pass. Right? That's a pass, uh, yeah. One D4. So we had uh, success from Quill, success from Ayla, success from Nova, and then failure from Lucius and Sentry. So, uh, so that's Nova, two. Quill, and Ayla, can you roll 1 D4 plus one? And then we add two. Oh, you've touched four. this dice and now it's ruined. <laughs> four <laughs> plus so, one. So five. So five. I got two. Seven. Nine plus two, 11 energy back. Oh, nice. Okay. 17. 17. That's not the best, worst. Not no. the best worst. But to set the scene, that wings are propulsed and you feel yourself beginning to lift off the ground out of the thing, kind of creating this squall and swell of misting and fog underneath you from the ocean. However, Atelicus has got Lucius's arm in a, in a vice-like grip and is holding on. No getting away, little ant, little bug. Time for you to meet your end. And he's beginning to like ready a fist or something to try and strike you down. Uh, but I throw it over to you guys. I've still got the Radiant Saber out and we're flying you do. Now. So we need oh. to take off energy. Yeah. So your Radiant Saber costs a certain two. amount, two, and then six for the Guinean Shield, or three for the Guinean Shield, right? Yeah. Mine as well. Uh, you didn't activate yours, you didn't so it's activate not activated. It. So two for Saber, three for Shield, so five, and, and another two, two for, for flying. So, so seven's, seven's gone. Down to ten. So we're down to ten already. Um, do you want me to stab him with the saber? I may as well, right? Yeah. Because we're flying. Either that or we... We're, out, we're off the ground. So, we so can... you can use the saber to either try and break the grab or do damage. I think how about... Do you think? Nova mm -hmm. performs a dodge action to hopefully get past I'm this. I'll give you two dodges. Because you've so got one for free for flying. He's winding up a big old punch. I feel like we dodge that and then slash after that. Yeah. yeah, I can hold, I can wait, yeah. yeah. Trying to break this... Um, well, you, you get one free dodge from flying. So you've got one free oh, okay. one automatically. All right. Maybe um, we'll just go in then. Do we still have... Do we... Even though we're grappled and, I guess, tethered to the ground, do we still have the Melee extra the damage? Bonus. Yes. Back yes. bonus, yes, okay. Yeah. Um, Imagine it like the wings are almost feeding into the, into the thunder, the lightning hammer, making it even stronger now. Yeah, I, well, I feel like if we break the... You've got the, extra speed to, like, swipe back and forward. If we break the grapple, then... Yeah, he has just... to get another... If he grabs you with the other hand, he gets to, like, slam you, basically. Ooh. So... It looks, it looks like he might, he's either bringing it into punch or he's bringing it in to try and grab you. Open hand or closed hand? Mm, don't know. Back it's hand. a claw. Ah. He could do anything with that. Yeah. Ah, claw! Um, but, yeah, we need to free up the arm so that you get your saber, basically. Well, would you manage to do that? This... Sure. Um, oh, can it be done? Yeah, I guess you can. It's just that disadvantage, so... I think if we can pull off that, that Star Fury Slash, we can really do some damage. We've already, like, you know, broken his face. Maybe we can, like, go for his, uh, his armor on his back or one of his arms. Cut his arm off of me. Off of my arm. Can I <laughs> Can I strike the arm specifically that's holding Lucius, then? You can, so you... And will I get that bonus? So you it? get all the... You, so you get a choice. You either do damage or you break the grab. You still have to make the check right. either way, but you choose the result you want. Either do the damage or break the grab. I think break the grab, and then on Lucius' yeah. turn, he can re-up the... Uh, break the grab. Alrighty. Strength. But well, then we do start uh, With disadvantage, uh, but you, yeah. So, but it's your signature system, so you get advantage, yeah. so it's a normal roll, plus a d4. Natural 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you kind of stab it. I'll say, because of it's a natural 20, roll damage and you break the grab. Oh, <gasps> yes. Sweet. Perfect. So what's the... Uh, this the is his left star arm. Is it? It's not so this is just theory, This is 3d10. 3d10. Yep, plus your strength. So 3d10 plus 7 ignores armor. But this isn't a crit damage. No, no, no. No, you're basically getting the both benefits to this. It was Spicy. 14 uh, plus, plus seven. Seven. 21. Yeah, that one. So you do 21 that points of damage, and as you plunge the lightning hammer, kind of breaking part of his left arm, he like oh, reflectively releases you, um, and you, you Lucius, you're like, whoosh, you manage to pull out and get your arm free um, as you do so. Uh, after Ayla's action, uh, he's going to take his turn, and this is just going to be a slam into. Uh, looks like this is actually going to go for your torso. Um, is striking at your torso. Oh, uh, yeah. shit, yeah. Okay, that's 28 uh, away from being That broken. is going to be a success uh, okay. from Telegus. Uh, this is a slam attack. 
That is going to be uh, 40 points of damage. Well, I reduced that by 7. Uh, so and 37. Then, and then your armor as well, so 18. Oh, so reduce, so 40 by minus 25. Uh, 15. 15. 15 points of damage to your torso. Mm, keep the torso in. So the shield is like absorbing most of this blows, but Atelicus's raw strength is just almost the, the concussive force. He's like breaking systems in the chest. Still not broken, though. Uh, I also forgot one of your mishaps. Uh, you've taken an action since that mishap. Uh, so I need all of you to take, uh, you as your characters, you take 20 points of damage, non-resistible, okay. um, and the head takes five points of damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh God, that's oh, down to 29. That's... Okay. I, I can fix it, I can fix it. <laughs> okay. Sorry, how much damage do we take? Uh, unless you want to, well, 20. don't forget as well, you have a free dodge, so when I make an attack, if I'm successful, you can try and dodge out of it as well. Don't forget, you can do True. that. So. Well, I think I just took that down to 29. Yeah. Broken. Oh, yeah. I just took that yeah. damage twice. Yeah, the head has just crossed the broken threshold. All right, so... Uh, so uh, the head doesn't... So when it... For you guys, there's no, like, disadvantage because it's not a limb you're using for stuff. Um, but it, it means that, like, yeah, you're going to start taking more damage and stuff, you guys yourselves as well. Like, maybe there's, like, a part of it's almost being ripped and you can now see out of the mech. So, like, Nova's like, ah! Uh, I can actually see outside, like there's like a gap, like where a claw oh, is like raped. Horrible. That doesn't sound right at no. all. Um, all right. Uh, well, do, do I try and fix? Do I try and fix something? Yes. Fix something. All right, but then he will get to take a blow. So maybe get ready to dodge someone. Okay. Um, and Nova's going to yep. try and fix yep. with yep. Uh, uh, intellect, natural twenty. Nice. Oh. Oh. I'm going to say <laughs> that Nova not only fixes it, uh, she's going to. Uh, I'm going to restore one d four plus one energy. Nice. Energy, nice. Three points of energy back. So Nova is just oh, like, yeah. okay, leave this to me. Do, 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 do. All right, I, I, I think I've got this. Yeah. Do, 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 okay, do, 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 uh, engage. Do, do, do. And then you see like the energy levels like, do, and you see like uh, the shielding kind of take over. The smoke in the cockpit stops, and she's going to fix the mishap that was causing you to uh, take all that extra damage cool. to the head. Um, but oh, it means Atelicus gets to take another blow. Uh, dodge. dodge, I'll take a dodge. All right, yeah. you're going to take a dodge. Should we see uh, if it hits first? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you want to <laughs> see if it hits first. Uh, that hits. Okay. <laughs> Take a dodge. Uh, so this time he's basically coming in to bite down on the head and the torso, kind of Oy. seizing moment of the opportunity. Yeah. Um, so who would like to make the dodge roll? This is a dexterity check. I guess you're taking the dodge. So. Yeah, yeah, DC 13. So you get the D4 because of the bless. Um, and it's not broken, so you're not at a disadvantage. So. Eight. Eight is not enough, unfortunately. So you try and what? pull away Sentry, um, kind of using the wings to kind of pull yourself back, but it's not quite enough. Uh, We're not having very fun rolls, are we? This hey, is this, better than last this time. This is so better much better than last week, like believe me. Last time, last time oh, it, was, it was horrible. Uh, so that's going to be ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, 32 points of damage reduced by the Gideon Shield. And your, uh, oh, Gideon Shield. Yep. Uh, and armor. Uh, reduced by... Uh, 25 again. No, 26, sorry. Uh, 26. So Including you, the armor threshold. So you would take uh, b -b 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 eight points of damage to the torso and the head. Uh, oh, God. Okay, so the head's down to 21. The torso is down to 65. But also, unfortunately, your armor threshold is reduced by a further two. So your armor oh is down God. to 16. Because the bite kind of tears armor plating away as it yeah. does so. So you can see Vanguard is like getting to this stage now where the upper body really beginning to look rough and ready. And whilst you've broken kind of his face, you know, Atelicus's <laughs> rippling arms and body is still very much in a prime condition. Um, but break your face. it's your turn. Jesus. Throw it over to you guys. Um, do you, can you try and activate? I'll try the radiant slash. Radiant, radiant saber. Sorry. Yeah, you got to do. You got to do the radiant saber first. So, but then uh, uh, what you could do is if you succeed on this, because remember it has to be. It doesn't have to be you guys. Quill and Sentry who haven't acted yet Sentry. could then do the. Oh, we took, we got yeah, that was a free one. Yeah. Cool. So All if, right. you, if you're successful, this could be big. We don't have disadvantage. Oh. Staggered. Anymore. You do. It's oh, broken. Because of the broken head. Yeah. Yep. So okay. it's disadvantage, but you get one d four. That was an at 20 and an 11, which is ruined. Plus the D4. Plus the D4. Three, uh, 14 plus my strength, strength, which is two, 16. Is a success. Oh, 
<laughs> so what is Lucius's? Because yeah. uh, you didn't do this last time, and I realised we should have done it. What does it? What does the weapon look like when Lucius summons it? Because like Ayla's got the blue energy hammer. What does I it look like when Lucius? It would look like Captain's Command, but like mecha, sword. like a rapier, kind of like but a cutlass, with a frost. Yeah, energy. like a yeah, like a kind of nice. flowing misty like white ice. So yeah. two nice. blue energy weapons, yeah. but one kind of looking glacial, like a cutlass. Yeah. And you kind of so you roll three d ten. What location would you like to strike? Uh, the head is Watch. broken. The left arm has taken damage. The torso has taken damage, and the right arm has taken damage. I wonder if we take out an arm so that it's Stop him from less doing punching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go for the arm. Alrighty. He so has the been right arm or left arm? Which one's the one that grabbed me? Left, left arm. Left arm then. Alright. 15. On 15 points of damage. Plus the... Plus your strength. Uh, another 2. 17. Oh yeah, the saber plus... equals armor as well. Oh yeah, it's just 17, yeah. isn't it? Yep, that's fine. Okay. Alright, so yeah, you strike down and cause like a big gash through the kind of rippling armor plates and the musculature. <laughs> causing to bring the arm back. But now you have these two active weapons. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Um, however, it is Italicus's go. Oh, sorry, did that get the flying extra damage as well? It did not. No, it Neither, did not. Neither did mine get the flying damage, because we were flying as well. You did hit this turn, didn't you? Yeah, that's actually additional 20 points of damage. See, done. I remind him of the mishaps, but also... I don't... Yeah, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> All right. I'm a good guy and uh, a bad guy. You struck him in the head, didn't you? Uh, I struck him in the arm to get Lucius free. That's right, So it's the did. same arm yes, that Lucius Yes, that's right, it's the same arm. Uh, because Which of that, that arm yes. on Lucius's strike, because of the flying, so using the because movement, this is like the classic thing of like, you dash in Lucius, <laughs> rape along and then <laughs> fly up and then, <laughs> nice. so you kind of rake along the arm, pull back, Fine. fly around and then <laughs> find the pose. That you see the right, the left arm, sorry, now kind of hanging limp and bleeding and wounded is broken. Um, oh. so it's also broken now. Fuck Good yeah. Job. Um, so I will say, if you uh, break or destroy a certain number of parts, that will trigger the rage effect. Cool. Uh, which you're looking for. Good to know. Um, all right. So, so yeah, if you watch rage kind of falling into than... position. However, it is uh, Telekis's go and kind of seeing the wounded state of your mecha, he is going to look up and from his eyes they kind of turn, shifting into oh, this yeah. primal magic and he's going to fire two eye beams. Yeah. Uh, that's that fair, isn't Yeah, it? that's fair. Yeah. That is going to be a success. It. Uh, uh, that's going to be a 20, unnatural, dirty 20. Um, and what's the... Uh, he can't, I won't target your head, so torso sucks. and legs. Your torso is pretty banged up, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but your legs aren't it, quite yet. The legs are the things that are looking the Legs best. are on about half. Yeah. Which leg is the worst? Uh, Sentry's left leg. Left leg it is. Uh, that is going to be... No, sorry, my leg. All right, your leg then. 15 points of damage that ignore armor, but Gideon's shield can still... Uh, that reduces it by uh, 10. All right, five points of damage then to your leg. Nice, not bad. Okay. That's oh. pretty good. That's down to 57. All right. And then it's, I throw it over to you. So you guys have got your actions. I've done mine. All right. So, oh, it's, uh, you can't activate the stuff for yourself. Sorry, I forgot you have to do that at the beginning of the yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. It. So it's me and Fair Sentry enough. left. Um, you are currently in physical. Six. We're on, I guess it would be six, yeah. I have not updated it. Are there any current mishaps going still? Uh, no, no, we no. Don't have one? Yep, oh, took Nova all the disadvantage fixed. for that. Okay. I accounted so, for it. Okay, cool, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nova, Nova fixed the other one. Nice. Right. Um, so, Quill and Sentry. You are currently engaged with this thing. So, even though you're flying, you're still currently in melee range with this thing. You nice. will need to basically use a, a leg okay. action to try and get away uh, can we? Okay. without it getting a strike yeah, if can. you wanted to like fly in, up in the air or something. Can, can me and Sentry activate Star Fury Slash? You can, but you can't do it until the start of the next turn. Sure. You have to activate okay. the teamwork ones at the start of a turn. Right. Like pause our but we're basically, you're the last two to go. Mm -hmm. So we could activate, so you could it, activate it, it. Go next turn. What if? No, it has to be at the start of a new round. Oh, sorry. new round. Okay. Yeah, sorry. We're above him flying right now. Uh -huh. What if we just... You're both... not. You're, you're currently still in melee range. So if you want to get up into you the air, you have to use an action. We're flying around. You are flying. Yeah. What if we just Nova bullet straight into him, both legs? Just go straight in head just first. Just dive bomb, stomp him. Could do. You do like a flying axe kick. Kind yeah. Of <laughs> yeah. That's you can make cool. two leg attacks to make two attacks. Could you do could that. do that. Try and get his other arm. Yeah. Just kick him in the arm. All right, what just are you doing? Kick arm. Yeah. Who's doing it? Who's going first? Um, I guess I can go first to get the pull back, the speed, and then Quill can come in and do the attack. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. You All go. Right. You go. 
All right. So yours Do is a uh, dex. dex. Yeah. Yep. D4. With a D4. And this is to like move away, right? So yeah. to disengage. We don't have disadvantage anymore, do 17. we? 17. Uh, if you're broken, you do. If we're broken, we do. Which you and Lucius mm. currently You are 17. not. 17 is enough. Yes. So you watch. Yeah, boy. I'll bang all this. So, so you kind of pull it back. Fly up into yeah. The air. You get your old. Ready. There he goes, right. Fly up into the air. Now, almost being able to see this thing face to face, eye to eye, flying up in the air. <laughs> Nova's looking Ready through quit. the gap. <laughs> no! Yeah, Nova, Nova just <laughs> almost <laughs> fell out of that gap. <laughs> His hair is like flying up into, up into the, you know, almost vertical. So does he get a turn or? A... Oh, that's right, he does, yeah. Uh, he's used his ice beam, so he can't do that this turn. Uh, <laughs> Don't stop many things. Don't I know, him. I know. Oh. It's okay, I'm about to drop kick him. Metellicus is going to use his enhanced evolution, uh, which he can only use a certain number of times, and he's going to regenerate health. Oh. And he's going to do it on yes. his broken arm. So he's going to unbreak his arm. Unbreak my oh, arm. So yeah, you watch as he kind of like, that arm which is hanging kind of limp and wounded, you bleeding, can. you just watch as he kind of flexes and the arm seems to grow in size as the musculature seems to increase and he evolves it. Now there are more spikes, more Aww. armor plates. And it kind of becomes like a, almost like a Kira when they've got the one bigger arm, kind of like this larger, more muscular arm. You look Tendrils dumb! Kind of <laughs> hanging <laughs> off of it. Almost like tentacle vines kind of hanging off of it now as it almost like wants to reach up and try and wrap around, but that's his turn to activate that. Like, well, like, mm, there's a little bit. There's the tentacles. Definitely remind you of yeah. that. Okay. Well, I don't um, know, but that hasn't happened yet. So what? What? Okay. Uh, in sentries dash back. We'll sort of backwards flip and continue that momentum to then slide in and uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, flying kick both legs. Or one leg, I suppose. All right. Um, well, let's see if you hit first. Well, where are we hitting, actually? Yeah, that's a great question. Because do we aim for that arm that is now regened? Regened? Or do yeah, we go the torso? for the... How much have we hit the other arm? His mm, head's... A little bit, but not much. His head's broken, but and that's it, right, so yeah. far? His torso and his... His, his torso his tail's been touched at all. The tail's part of the torso. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. And if we aim for the head again, like, what benefit do we get just smashing the same? If you destroy it, he can't use his bite attack anymore. Right now, he has disadvantage to use his bite attack. Um, and it's also his strange. eye lasers and his breath weapon. Well, his breath mm. weapon doesn't require attack, it requires two hands, but his eye lasers and his um, bite would both be disabled. Right now, they're at disadvantage. That is a consistent threat, his his head. Yeah. So maybe we, uh, we go for the head. Yeah. His head is nasty. Go for the head. Go for the head. Yep, yeah, drop kick him right between the All eyes. Right, flying kick. Whoosh. All right, give me that dex check. Uh, plus D4. Dex plus D4. Buy it. Uh, 16. 16 is a success. Oh, nice. Shit. So it's the normal damage plus 20 for flying. Uh, 46 plus 10, so 46 plus 30. Yep. One, two, three, four. He does have his armor as well. Uh, that is... Oh, fuck you, D&D Beyond. Wow! <laughs> uh, 3221. Uh, oh. Ice be dice. 38. 38 points of damage. Straight, straight to the face. Ooh, Alrighty, dice. straight to the face. All right. <laughs> kind of hitting him in the already wounded thing. Like, nice. You will pay for that, you traitors. Using this foul technology of our enemy. Yeah, that's fair, actually. Yeah. Is that the end of your turn, Quill? Uh, in that case, <laughs> ready, Vanguard! <laughs> Constitution yeah, check. Ready, Vanguard everyone. check. Woo. Constitution plus a d4. Oh, God. Oh, ding a stong us. Big boy. Three, well, five, well, let, me, let me do it out. So, Quill. T t t t 23. Success. 25. Success for Ayla. Lucius. 14. 14 is a success. Ooh, 12. Failure, unfortunately, for Sentry. <laughs> one day I'll succeed. Man, you're good at con as well. Your one is so high. Yeah. 13 plus whatever Nova's. It's a success plus three, 16. So, so four successes and then oh, one no, failure. 23, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So one energy from Sentry. And then one D4 plus by... one from everyone else. This could be a full power. Three, so four total. So we have four. Four from me. Eight. Twelve. Seven. Uh, 15. Over Lucius. So 16 energy total. Oh my god, we are at 
30 energy, so, so yeah, it maxes 20 at 25. 25, 25 nice. So we're fully four powered. Energy. No, you know what? You know what? No, you're at 30 energy. This is the power of Sionis. Oh, this no, is the wait. power of friendship. I didn't actually take off any of the energy from the previous round. Oh. <laughs> down to six. We were yeah. down to six, so right. we're at 22. Right, there you go. <laughs> you're at full energy. I like the sound of the Siona thing, though. The power of friendship! Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can have that in Let's your mind. Let's just roll better next time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so... Two, five... And now, remember, if you want to activate Starfury Slash, you have to announce it now and lose two actions. Starfury Slash. We, well, we lose nine energy to keep the two Radiant Sabers, the Gideon Shield, and the Flying. Worth it. Okay. Do we want all of so that? So we're down to 13. Or That's do we want to so deactivate good. Flying? And start well, flying for gives you extra damage it gives on us the slash. extra damage on yeah, we'll melee. Do we want to get rid of the shield? No. Because we're going full offensive. We've got 13 that energy is, after that. That is Tom's decision. Or no, Quill's I don't decision. think so. <laughs> all right. 13 <laughs> energy is plenty enough to do all of that. So, start the round. You're keeping everything on. You've cost the energy. You have 13 I'm energy left. I'm keeping my stuff on. It's, yeah, yeah. It sounds it's like that's what everyone's doing. Yeah. 13 energy left. Who? Is, so we're going to have Ayla and Lucius give up their actions this round? Sure. Or a Star Fury yeah. Slash. Star Fury Slash. That will trigger at the end of the round. Okay. Cool. Makes sense. Is so, it just an automatic thing? It's automatic. But you means you don't get to do anything that's this fine. round. Okay. You're done. Sure. Right? It's yep. like this is like you and Lucius pairing it up, like you're focusing. And what this looks like is you get the two weapons and you slam them together and the hammer and the cutlass begin to kind of morph. So I guess it would almost kind of have the look of almost like a pole arm, where the long handle of the, the hammer uh, then gets topped on with this blade, almost forming like a giant kind of spear. Uh, like this two-handed weapon. Yeah. So it's kind of like you watch as Vanguard Alpha brings the two hands together, the energy begins to form, and then it begins to like pull out this like longer handled weapon like this. But this is taking time as other things are happening. So uh, Quill, Sentry, and Nova, you guys are the only ones who can act this turn. Who's acting first? I'm wondering if you get we... one free dodge because you're flying. Do we have to be in melee for the Radiant Star Fury? You do. Hmm. I mean, if we. And the Telekus can see you building up this powerful attack. If we jet boost. Yes. Oh, if he can see us, he, he might mm. try and back away. I don't want to. I was thinking of jet boosting away. Uh, I'm grappling him. Could we use the jet boosters to make like a smoke shield? Like a smoke screen? You can do whatever you want. You tell me what you want to do. It's like. Fly, you try and blind him. Try, yeah, try and blind him with like steam. So he doesn't see it coming. Yeah. So use the jet booster jump not to move, but to whirl Blast. up a load yeah. of water around us. Yeah. I would say it would require both of you to do it and both be successful, but if you do that, What'd you be will the, work. It'd be so a, two dexterity checks. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I am comfortable with uh, Quill doing it, but... Undone. Your rolls. Rolls, are hard, right? but rolls are rolls. rolls so you can roll a natural rolls. 20. I could roll a natural 20. And this is the time. Let's whirl up that water. What up? Do you want to what do that up? first, or do you want Nova to be like, I, I feel like this is it, we can do this, and I could do an inspire leader to begin with. Oh, yeah. yeah, that can help. Or yeah, yeah, Nova yeah, yeah. could take the dodge action in case, and then you'd have take two the, dodges. Take the dodge, yeah. I think take right. the dodge makes sense. Right, Nova's going to do that damage. first. Uh, plus her dex and a d4. Which I think she's going to succeed. Yeah, that's uh, 16. So she succeeds. So you gain a free dodge. Almost think of it like a dodge token. Like you now have two of these tokens okay. whenever he makes an attack. And an attack he will make. Oh. Uh, uh, as he can see you building up this thing. And I think that, like, the way that Telexus would think is like. Yeah, so in fact, actually, what he's going to do, the first thing he's going to do is he's not going to attack. Uh, he's going to use his seismic leap. Um, and he's basically going to leap backwards, and so we'll just kind of separate. Does the Telekus say that? Uh, what? Does he shout his... He doesn't shout his moves, no, he's a kaiju. The they don't shout their moves. <laughs> um, he just kind of... <laughs> and leaps backwards, uh, flying through the air, kind of slamming into the ground. Do we get an attack of opportunity? You don't know. <laughs> uh, but I do. But you guys are flying, so you're actually immune to the other effect of this, where he can damage your legs from being in the, the water. Oh, because yeah. you're up in the air, yeah. this has just no effect. But he is now two increments away from you. Oh, shit. Okay. So, Sentry and Quill. One of you has to act. We need to give I mean, if we whirl up the water now, it's pointless. Yeah. We need to get in close. We need to get in. Um, but, I mean... I'd say you could, you could, like, if you scoot down to the ground... Yeah, and skim along the ground. I'd say you can still use the jet boosters to move towards jet booster. You can move towards them when you use it. Both mm. of us using, well, both of us using jet booster to kind of 
S move across the water to whirl it up, uh, create a wave towards him. I'm a big fan of that. Visually, I'm a big fan. Visually, it looks pretty better. There'd be like a theme song playing, it'd be dope. It's like we're ice skating on the ocean while you're forming this mega spear. Oh, yeah. Like shadow. The DM might give you bonus damage if you pull it off. How does that sound? Sounds good. All right, let's just do that. All right, hey, leg boy. Me, got it, one of you give me a Let's go, leg boy. Dexterity <laughs> plus D4. Let's go, legs. Uh, and, and don't forget, you can use two, all of your D4. all normal abilities. Like, you want to use driven to purpose on this? Go for it. You want to use, like, portents? You go for it. Wait, I could have used rage this whole time? Rage, no. But I'm mad! <laughs> If you could think of a way to like, if you wanted to be like, can I like channel my lightning in to like try and do something cool, maybe. But it would probably require a check. He's probably immune. Awesome. Natural 20! <laughs> plus two fours! You just rolled! Well, Holy full shit. on all three of those dice. I gotta see what Rhiannon gets. 11. <laughs> there was a lot of excitement on Is there anything else you want to do? I will tell you now that an 11 is gonna fail. But you're try. close to a success. Is that with two D4s as well? Yeah. I'm gonna do driven to purpose. What does that do? Make sure. That's a one, as a twelve. Fuck my life. I don't have anything else that I can do. Or of Agathis. Unless a, a little blast of lightning. <laughs> I'm awake! I'm doing it! A blast of lightning, no. no. Um, <laughs> uh, the thing is, I'm using it my It was really mad really about it. purpose, only a d4. Yeah. Make it roll a d6. I don't know why I made that. Really? It should have been a d6. Oh. Not, yeah. Like Mark's d4. desperate Rubbish. for this. Two yeah. six. Yeah. But also a d4 when you're level 15 yeah, is I mean, kind of garbage. A d6 is at least. Tom a rolled better. such a good roll. He rolled full on every single dice. Well. Natural 20 and 4 on Natural both 20. the d4s. So um this is I mean, yours is now much higher. Yeah. yeah. Plus six. Maybe Elder oh, Quill. Yeah, 15. Was 15 just like, which is a success. Sort of Press the right button. <laughs> no, no, this is like Sentry being like, I need to succeed yes. at this. This is the this for is what I'm, this is for for Aroes, right? Yeah. For solving for everything. Um the way this is gonna work is your jet boosts are gonna go off successfully. So you're gonna dash in close. So that is two energy. You will basically kick up enough steam that you're gonna add more bonus damage to the attack. Uh, when Star Fury Slash goes off. However, between the two of you using those actions, Atelicus would get two attacks in. And the way he's going to do it is he's got, with his one good eye still left, he's going to eye beam, two eye beams trying but to come in. we do have two dodges. dodges. And he has disadvantage on these because mm. he broke his head as well. But, so he's going to try and get these in. So the first one, a 20 and a 15 is a success. Uh, that is going to hit. Dodge, would you dodge. like to try and dodge? I mean, yes. Let's yeah, let's dodge that one. All right, Tom, roll me a dexterity check plus a d4. Oh shit. Okay, fine. Uh, dex plus a d two d4 for bless uh, and Nova. Uh, no, Nova no. didn't do uh, inspire leader. She used dodge. Oh yeah. So you got another dodge. Yeah, that extra d4 was uh, nice try, actually bro. part of the roll. Uh, oh god, this die. This is another fucking. Uh, that's twenty plus dex to twenty three. I mean, Quill, you are flying. This is what you were born to do. Serpentine! <laughs> you, at the last second, as this beam of primordial magic just cuts like a line through the ocean, whoosh, whoosh, scoots past you. The second one, Sentry, uh, we'll see if it hits first. Uh, eight plus six is 13. That is still a success. Uh, so if you'd like to try and spend the other dodge, Sentry, I need you to make another dex plus d4. Yeah, I'll do a dodge. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> Not 20! Oh, hey, hey, there it hey. is! Focusing in, like, this is this is what you're familiar with. This is a charge towards the enemy, and you wait for the last second and just flip up to the other side. <laughs> and you can see a telecast because he's blinded in one side. You wait just for the right angle and move into the blind, blind spot as this beam cuts through, as this just gout of steam and mist rolls over a telecast from the smoke. He does, he does get one more action before you get to make your attack. I mean, still. But with the mist, I'm going to give him disadvantage as he tries to bring his tail around to kind of slam into you before you kind of get the strike off. That's a natural one with the disadvantage. Oh, oh. <laughs> the mist. It's that classic thing of like he sees an off he sees like an image in the mist, thinking it's the Vanguard, 
And as he swings his tail, the force of it blasts the rest of the mist away, and he was striking it just before the vanguard actually reached into it, where the shadow was kind of projected by the light slightly forward, just in time to see this giant pole arm as... I need both of you to say it, unfortunately, uh, oh. to activate the system. Oh, God, what's it called? One, uh, three, two, one... Star, Star Fury Slash! Yeah! <laughs> that was not Lucius at all. <laughs> but it is cool. It vomits a little bit, like... You say that, you were saying that very enthusiastically. Um, <laughs> Star Fury Slash! <laughs> <laughs> to eat more. So what's the base damage Grown. on a Star Fury Slash? It is 50. That ignores armor. You are flying, so you add 20 to that. And because of the cool, checks. because of the no, no, you don't need to do those anymore. I removed those, so I, oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I did yeah, make yeah. that change to your. Okay. Oh, but like, you don't need to make checks anymore. You had to spend two actions to do it. Yeah. Uh, Twenty extra damage from flying, but I'm also going to say because of the cool jet booster move, add another twenty points of damage to that for and points ninety, 90 points. Ninety points. Points. to a location. Which location do you want to hit? Oh, I think get the torso. Yeah, the stab him. Still pretty like. I mean, getting ninety damage for, through armor on a any location is huge. I think it is torso. It's taken damage, but it's been regenerated. Because we can't do... It would only be one arm or the other. You could take his recently regenerated arm off. Mm, that would help. Mm. That would piss him off. We've got to anger him, haven't we? Yeah. Show him his boss. Which one do? I don't, easy, either way. Torso I would say. I would arm. say it was the two people that made the Star Fury yeah, Slash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, God, I don't know. Roll a dice. Regenerated arm? Yeah. All right. Sure. Go with the arm. arm. Go right. with the arm. So the arm that he so just you see got more power. You bring it up, and he almost expecting you to go for the chest or the torso, kind of pulls back and brings up the arm, uh -huh. which gives you that moment. Pierce it right through. And you just watch as for a second, like nothing moves, and then the arm just. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> oh. And you watch as a telecus. <laughs> just roars and clutches at it and you watch as the white eyes one of them now badly scarred from the, the lightning hammer that cracked it in the light but you see the other one turns blood red oh. yes you miserable traitors you have betrayed your planet you work for our ancient enemy and now you would stop me taking what is mine I will crush you I will and it just seems to go silent and still as the head drops and from Vanguard's perspective, you see that on the ridges of the back, something almost begins to warp in the armor. No, 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 no. As the armor seems to stretch, like it's now made of rubber or tissue, uh. and it stretches up, and you see, and the only people that would even recognize this being are Lucius and Sentry. No! Because you see, a replica, you know, you hope that it is not the real one, but the physical presence, the visage is identical. A humanoid figure, amorphous, not quite fully made of anything but red tissue, muscle, matter, a sort of rounded head with a distended open jaw and a single red eye. It's humanoid limbs far too long and a big, wide, grinning mouth. It seems my little pet has lost his temper. I'll take things from here. And it plunges its hands into the back of a telecus and it almost in a very similar macabre manner to how you've been controlling Vanguard as it stretches one arm. Now, the arm of Atelicus, its tail, its body moves in the will of the seed of Hadar. And that's where we're going to take a break. Ooh. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's go. No! no, no, no. no! Puppet Master oh. Hadar. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, we will see you for part two. Take care. See you. Bye. Bye. Hey, hey friends, welcome back. Uh, that's it, that's the first part of the episode. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll oh. be back in a minute, we're gonna take a little break, and when we come back, we'll do a little a little lovely fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Alright, fight. All right.
Ooh, sound the popcorn! <laughs> it's time, oh, we're back! It again. Hello, oh, it's so red and ooh, ooh, exciting. Mysterious. Uh, welcome back to High Rollers. Uh, we're back. Hey. There's nothing to really talk about, so let's just jump straight into it. Hello and welcome back to part two of High Rollers. Our champions of Aroes have been battling the Titan Atelicus, a giant 500 foot tall monstrosity. And to do so, they have been using the power of Callus Valkyrian's 300 foot tall magical construct Megamech. Project Vanguard Alpha, um, and uh, despite their initial kind of struggles to get used to controls and maybe uh, stumbling with some of its systems, our champions have come back full swing and rallying together, they have managed to use many of Vanguard's systems to finally enrage Atelicus, forcing the seed of Hadar that has secretly been dwelling within Atelicus to emerge and take full control of the uh, Titan themselves, and um, we jump back in uh, with you guys. Having just seen this kind of fleshy pustule emerge from Atelicus's back carapace, uh, almost on top of it, but so small, only through um, Vanguard's adapted systems and sensors and Quill's burgeoning perception, <laughs> yeah. uh, have you been able to really see this creature manifest and see what it's been doing, kind of plunging its long tendril-like arms, this vaguely humanoid shape, but very amorphous with tentacles and just this kind of round bulbous head and a distended open smiling rictus grin with a single red eye um, as it takes position. Uh, so what do you guys do? It's puppet controlling Atelicus. To what purpose? To attack us or...? Um, I mean, it certainly it, it, it is looking to you that like it knows that you're going to get in its way, but it is still looking to it. And this whole time as you've been fighting, even though you've kind of been moving around and stopping inside, there has been movement towards the Halls of Infinite Resplendence. Mm. And you can now see, um, although you had like gone out several miles, you can now see that purple triangular platform that Vala had created and she stood on almost ready as like this last line of defense. Um, in front of the entrance to the halls. And you see, Quill, you see the Hadar, seed of Hadar look. Mm, delicious. Uh, and it is, it is, you've been making your way towards the halls. Like, you've been sort of fighting Atelicus. You know, these weren't like six seconds combat rounds. These were like, have been going on. And it's been like, you know, maybe an hour, hour and a half you've been fighting in this thing, like traveling to it. Like it's been this big, slow, lumbering kind of fight. Yeah. Um, so you are getting closer and it is still making its way there, but it knows it has to kind of deal with you as well. Um, okay. Um, what, so what do you guys do? Options do we have to eject and or to have the have the mech on autopilot just thousand punches while we <laughs> the project vanguard alpha nova's like it, it won't work on its own it has to have pilots we can say that like maybe there's like you know you're still throwing punches and like attacking yeah. with the, the beam sabers and stuff like that and atelicus is kind of fending them off and you can still see that although you wounded atelicus and you cut off one of its arms which is still missing it's rapidly beginning to regrow and regenerate. Like this is a very powerful creature that is like constantly evolving. And like as it's growing back, that arm almost now seems to be made of like black and red material, like obsidian nice. um, mixed in with like these lines of red magic. And it's growing back even bigger and more tentacles and more spikes and more armor on it. Hmm. This was the plan, was it not? <clears throat> Expose. Maybe we can use the the cannon, or we could we could use the the big big beam weapon attack. I mean, it's there. We we should attack that now, right? Get the torso. Yes. yes. Yeah. Let's right. try that. All right. What do you guys want to do? So it's on like the very top it's of its back, on its right? Ridge back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. If... It's like sort of imagine he's sort of like you can see it like in here in like the little wedge of the gaps. Like you can just about see Shoulder it like blades. Yeah, basically in the middle of its armored carapace. Cool. Just hanging. I mean, maybe yeah. If we. Should I make a sort of leg movement to try and fly up above so sure. that we get a good shot yes. yeah. on this target? Go Maybe we it. can Magisite missiles it or something? Yeah. 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 Magisite um, missiles. All right, yeah. Idea. All right, yeah. I mean, uh, you don't need to worry about making checks. Um, you pull away, 
fly up, the, the propulsion wings kind of keeping you aloft. You feel the energy returning to the Van Gogh mech. Nova's like, okay, here we go, and like plunges her hands onto the crystals. You feel it charge up. All these blasts of magic kind of ray down. And you just see the, the seed of Hadar on the thing's back look up. And its jaw begins opening. And then it just... And you watch as all of that energy is pulled. And it sucks in the power of the Magicite missile as you attack with it. And then it just lifts a hand. You should know, Callus's little toys are very vulnerable to entropy. And you watch as all of that power it absorbed forks out of it like chaotic, erratic lightning, black lightning. And it launches up into the air and you try and pull Vanguard out of the way, but bolts of it kind of catch the legs and catch the arms in like little places. And they don't seem like they're going to be that powerful or that damaging. But as the bolts strike, the metal, the crystal, the magitech erodes, rusts, corrupts, breaks down at an incredibly rapid rate. And you can feel Vanguard breaking apart around you as you're like kind of trying to fight through this thing. Shit. Maybe we aim for Atelicus. He hasn't got a puppet to control. He can't get anywhere, right? It keeps regenerating though. And it's regenerating with his power. <sighs> mm -hmm. no new. I think we need to fight mm -hmm. it. Ourselves. We can't use the core cannon on it. It's gonna just suck that up. And that's going to be a ton of energy that's going to use. The Vanguard's power is useless. Let's fight it ourselves. Yeah, I'm willing to try that. As you sort of lose this, as you're coming to this thing, Sentry, the leg that, you know, where you're in, you, you basically see all these runic flashing signals as that black lightning, it seemed to strike your leg the most mm -hmm. out of everybody as you kind of pulled away in the flight. And you just watch as the energy just depletes and parts of the leg break away and your section becomes exposed as the entire leg just rusts and breaks away, like disintegrates into nothing. It just... And you're like looking down onto open blazing sky, seeing Atelicus's armored carapace down below. You're still in the, the chair, mm. but you can begin to see that around you, this black rust, this entropic magic is just eating the, the magitech away around you. Um, and you begin to see it crawling up the cockpit chair getting dangerously close to you at this point. Okay, um, I might cast Find Greater Steed and summon Alnissix. Remember, it does take 10 minutes. Oh, it does take 10 minutes, so I don't have time. Shit. Land um, it, Nova, land it. Are you sure? We're all, it's, this thing's not flying for much longer. We need to get down. Okay, all right, well, I'll try and get us as close, then we, I guess we jump? Yes. All right, here we go. And yeah, Nova will basically and begin to plunge it down. Uh, Sentry, what do you do as this stuff is crawling up into your chair? What do you do? Um, you're not like strapped in, you can get out of it, but you'll have to like crawl yeah, so up start into the rest. To crawl of it. Up, yeah. yeah, so you're like, you, Sentry, you're pulling up like this metal ladder. Yeah. And this thing is getting quicker. Like this black rust is like, you're outpacing it, but it's like chasing you. Like you almost feel like it, it's like hungry. It's like, yeah. oh shit. And it's like crawling towards you. It's like almost like hands, like this pattern of like black lightning. And then you almost see like in the frame, like the ladder in front of you, the lightning kind of, and it forms almost like a laughing face. And it's like looking at you and then it just melts away, breaking, you see air and you're like, <gasps> like scrabbling to get up. Um, as you do, Nova basically flies down towards uh, Atelicus's back and you watch as the seed plunges its hands in, and it grabs the body. You guys are in the torso if you wanted to, and you could jump out at this point, but it's got the main body. And like, Nova's trying to like position the, the cannon and the things, but she's like, oh, it's got me. Um, what do you guys do? Yeah, I'm going to crawl out of my seat. Yeah. Um, jump go. onto the armored back of yeah. Telicus. Yeah, at the moment it lands, just get out of there. Yeah, jump out. I appreciate you going along with what I'm clearly <laughs> setting up. Um, yeah, you guys do. Uh, Lucius, I'm sorry your mini broke. I've had to replace you with what? No, Hadata. I've had to replace you with a shirtless. <laughs> Oh, Hadar got his clothes on the uh, far edge of the map there. Um, but so did we come like falling, stumbling out of like basically, a crashing mech? And, and you, well, you get out of it just as Atelicus 
rips it in two with this immense strength. Like, actually saying that, he's only got one arm, so he's, like, holding it in one place and then bites it and then rips it apart as the broken pieces... There's still enough of it left, but you can see it being eaten away by this entropic magic. As you guys land, you're close enough to this thing. You can see maybe 100 feet, 120 feet ahead of you, the seed. And you can see that it's kind of got this framing around it. Um, apologies that the, this mini is the best representative I have. I couldn't finish. I was trying to make a custom mini, and it didn't go the way I wanted it to. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to make one out of clay, and it didn't work. Um, but it almost has like a kind of shell around it, like a, like a kind of piranha mouth like around it, like holding it in place, um, protecting it almost like an armored shell. And it's in the middle of <laughs> these like lashing tentacles and things around it. You can also see that like these giant spines of Italicus, almost like mountains, like they rise up on either side. And then there are smaller ones. There are like ridges on the armored back. Um, that's what these kind of rocks and things represent. I didn't again uh, manage to paint the spines. But yeah, you can kind of see two smaller ones either side of it. And then you've got like ridges and like lumpy patches that almost form like rocks and things like that um, as it's looking towards you. Um, and then you just feel a telecus begin to make its way towards the hall. Oh, crap. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> you do, however, a piece of good news. Uh, Quill. You hit get a sending spell. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember how Diamond One did. Diamond One have like a Texan accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, it was. Yeah. I'd be like contacting Mr. Keelek and Kalar of the of the of the Storm Chasers. Contacting Mr. Keelek and Kalar of the Storm Chasers. <laughs> okay. So it's like nine. That's right? eight gone. Right. Uh, <laughs> This is Diamond One. Okay. Astoria nearby, inbound now. Have you on sensors? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay, it's it's really good that she used a lot of double-barreled words there. Um, I just got a message from Diamond One. The Astoria's nearby. I say quietly and not loud enough for her to hear. Oh, more delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Have you come to surrender? Of course not. <laughs> Good. It is better that life struggles against its undoubtable end. We're gonna roll initiative, guys. No! Oh, yeah, not a Darth seed. It's okay, it's just his seed. He's probably garbage. At 20. <laughs> that <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, Sentry, what'd you get total? 25. 25. Big whoop. Lucius, total? Three. Three. Key like Ad Kola. Uh, 22. Uh, Ayla? 19. Can someone roll a d20 for Nova Vija, please? 18. Uh, plus. plus three, 21. I imagine Hell Lucius yeah. is pretty shaken seeing a form of Hadar. Yeah, and for Sentry and Lucius, this is the first time since when you remember you tried to connect with the, the Matrix, the Guardian, the corrupted uh, Guardian. Um, the first time seeing something, and it is. But you can tell that this is, um, this is like an imitation. This is clearly like a, a replica. Uh, it's Baker. powerful, um, but it's feeding Baker. off Atelicus's power. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably, yeah, something that was only began as a, a small thing, maybe just a, a splinter of a thought, of an idea, of a fear, maybe. And it's grown and grown and fed and fed, like a like a symbiote or a virus, and it's infected. Is there a clear connection between it and Atelicus, or is it everywhere? At, at the base, I mean, it's kind of formed out of the carapace, like it's almost taken form out of it, but it is a form. You can see it is a creature, but it's kind of like its legs blend into the carapace. Right. Um, so it doesn't feel like severing this would do anything. I mean, you think that this is clearly... Uh, this is clearly a thing. This is a creature it's of being. amalgamated here. And if you dest and I, I would say this, if you, I would happily tell you the objective. If you can destroy the seed of Hadar, you will probably be able to free Atelicus from its control and its, in, in it, and its infection. Um, I will tell you that if you do not destroy this thing within a certain time limit, it will reach the halls of infinite resplendence. Okay. And Valor, okay. And Valor will be at risk. First game over. Okay. I mean, that, it, I mean, it might not be game over. If you can, like, really weaken it by the time it yeah. gets there, like Valor or, like, you know, just Callus or, 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 or whoever might be Starbase able to stop it. Starbase, save us! But 
Yeah. And you also, and as Cool said, you do know the Astoria is, is close to inbound, so that might be able to provide you some fire support nice. and weaken the Telecus or something like that later. Yeah, but we need it to attack a Telecus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the only thing it can attack. But you imagine that if that can attack a Telecus, it's probably going to affect this thing as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we start at the top of the round. The initiative warrior is going to go Sentry, Quill, Nova, Ayla, uh, and then Lucius, and then in between that, enemy. But I'm not going to tell you where. Sure, fair enough. Nice. Uh, so, Sentry, you are up first. All right, I'm going to do my usual power up turn. Uh, bonus <laughs> I mean, action, yeah. Starbreaker, and get big. Starbreaker! Do you want to replace? And I'm assuming you're going to yeah. move forward as well. You're going to get Trot to help you with that. Yeah, we get Mama. It. Mama Bear. So, you want to move 30 feet forwards? Yes, please. And then take Sentry off for me, please. Oh. That was good. Nice, thank you. So you just watch like Starbreaker. It's worth noting, Starbreaker has an additional property. When it attacks an aberration, it deals extra damage. Ooh. Hadar and Hadar spawn, and anything related to Hadar count as aberrations. Hell yeah. So I believe oh. it's an extra D8 of damage. It is. And in that 2D8. Nice. Yeah. Um, that is on top of all your God, divine smite stuff. Yeah, so your dice rolls are going to be nuts. Starbreaker was, the whole tray Starbreaker was forged like that. to fight Hadar. Like, it was forged um, to fight aberrations of Hadar. Cool. So Don't go get the treasure in the middle of a war, Tom. Look, <laughs> <laughs> it was at the time. <laughs> all right, poor timing. Right, can you just, sh truck, can you just shift Sentry over just once so it's in four squares? Uh, yeah, that's it, perfect. All right, Sentry, that's it. You that's done? Turn, thank you. Um, you know, you know, I hate to do it to you. It's legendary action time. <laughs> I don't even know how many legendary actions this thing has. You do not. So basically, um, I believe b -b 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 he's going to create it right where the group of you, except Sentry, are. He's going to create it right at the edge of the map, uh, kind of seeing you guys ahead of him. Uh, it creates a uh, ten foot radius of black tentacles. That's I need each creature to make a strength saving throw, please. Uh, so that's everybody in Nova. I will roll for Nova. Take some time. Oh, good. <laughs> no Presume reason. Bless is uh, long gone. Bless and stuff all. is all long gone. Any effects that you had from the uh, Telecus fight are all gone. That's a definitive fail. Oh, uh, wait. Do we have your... Wait, was that strength save? Strength, strength, strength saving throw, yes. We have your boost. You should... Uh, it's 30 feet, I'll double check. Yeah, you're, well, you move 30 feet, feet, but we should still be... You should technically 30 still feet, be yes, you still Just. get it. Still get yep. plus three. Uh, right, uh -huh. strength. 34. You succeed. 12. Fail. 10. Fail. Uh, Nova also fails. Uh, so, okay. uh, failure. Let's do, I'll do it on the failure's base first. So, uh, you guys are going to take uh, six points of cold and 10 points of acid damage. Um, Ayla, you would take, well, you don't have resistance to either of those, so you would take uh, that uh, half of that. So, three acid and five cold. Sorry. Eight. Um, as this kind of swirling mass of tentacles, like, you know, slams into your bodies and you can feel this freezing um, astral space kind of touch, but also it burns and eats away at your skin and, and your armor and things like that as it kind of... Does it count as a spell? Um, no, because this is innately using... It, if another person used this, it would be the Arms of Hadar spell, but from Hadar mm -hmm. himself, or a, vis a visage of Hadar, it technically isn't a spell, it's just his power. It is a magical effect. Okay, so I can't absorb it. Um, you could absorb elements because it's just a type of damage, but uh, you can't use the gauntlets, for example. Okay. Yeah. But if you had, like, uh, I'm going to leave resistance. as is for now. Okay. Nice. Uh, all right, uh, and that's going to be legendary action. We got a quill. I was really confused then. I thought my channel divinity affected abjurations, but wait, what, what type is he? Ab uh, aberration. Aberration. Abjuration. Uh, I've got, I've got ab arcane abjuration. <laughs> he yeah. is an aberration. I would also tell you that, like, you can't banish uh, this no, creature. Yeah. It is all. It's infused into a titan, and titans cannot be banished. Uh, well, it's it's power up turn. Uh, I'm going to move uh, just. You're going to have to move to yourself. Century. Afraid, That's fine. Uh, but I'm going to do my uh, bacon of hope. Bacon. On everybody. Uh, also, because I feel like this guy is going to punish our minds, um, so everyone gets uh, yeah maximum healing and advantage on wisdom saves. Nice, cool, and uh, death saves. End of turn. That's useful. End of turn. Know. Tom, or Kilik and Kalar, as you cast your spell okay. as a legendary action, the seed is like yes, delicious divine magic. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw as if you were concentrating on a spell. 
Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Um, but he got you, your yeah. spells. Yeah. So is that what I need to beat? 10? Nope. There's a set DC. <laughs> oh, God, OK. I would have failed if it was a 10. So as you come to the magic and you fill your friends with this beacon of hope shining light out of beacon. you, it just descends its mouth and absorbs the spell energy and you lose concentration on the spell. Son of a bitch. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Delicious. Does that look like something, well, I guess from Lucas's... It was a legendary action. Yeah, but from Lucius's mm. perspective, does he think now that all spells are just absorbed? No, this is something he has to do. This is like a legendary action, so it's on as a legendary action. You know that, I, I don't mind telling you, leg, they can only do a certain amount of legendary actions per turn. Okay. So. Also, he didn't absorb the spell, just the continued effect of it, I suppose. I mean, the um, spell is no longer in effect. Yeah. The spell has ended. Uh, that is pretty much... It was also, the other thing I would point out, in fact, make an Arcana check for Lucius for me. Let's see if uh, Lucius can figure this out. Come on, smart Lucius. Arcana is a solid... Uh, it's uh, 18. 18. That's not bad. You would imagine that, like, if you were to, say, fire a, um, uh, uh, a chromatic orb, right? It's very quick. It's instantaneous. It That's travels fine. and strikes the, the creature. It strikes, yeah, um, for me. You didn't think that there was enough time, like, the way it had to distend its mouth and absorb the energy. A spell like that, you don't think it would have the time to necessarily do that, but because Beacon of Hope is, like, this ongoing, continual effect, he was able to suck it in. So we're looking for non-concentration spells. Or at least more oh. concentration spells than he can potentially absorb with mm. his legendary actions. But anyway. Does it look like it empowered him? Nova would be next up. Um, no. Okay. It just looked like he ended the spell. What would you like Nova to do? Uh, I, I will make all the rolls, but you need to tell me what Nova's going to do. I'm trying to remember what, like... See if Kim's in Discord yelling at you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> she what? can't see she anything. Can't see us. She doesn't know. Nah. What buff moves does uh, Nova have? Like, power-up moves? Uh, she can bring, she can bring out, out Echo. Echo. Uh, but that's only really for it's swapping locations. Yeah, it's not she can make right attacks now. from it as well. Okay. So she, if the echo is out, she can make an extra attack with it a certain number of times per day. I, I don't think Nova that, would be keen uh, on getting that much closer. I feel like she'd probably go behind some rocks. Or yeah, something. she can Hexblade Curse, which is a bonus action. Mm. She'll yeah, probably we'll do that. that. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Is your bonus? Is that okay. 30 range, though? Uh, within 30, so she would need to move closer, oh. yeah. Can Echo do it? Mm, she can't manifest the echo that far away. It has to be within 15 feet of her anyway. So how about this? Uh, if we move Nova 30 feet towards like some cover or something, yeah. do you want to move her there? Uh, 15, 20. She'd um, probably do you want her to dash? Uh, yeah. So if she dash, she gets 60 feet forward. Is that is that within 30 you, feet? You're going to have to tell me. I can't see. Like 15, 20, 25, 30, yeah, yeah. 35, 40, 45, 50. So this one. Yep. And then bonus action, hex. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's still yeah, just, just out of range. range. But she's oh. still behind there. Um, all right. Um, but she could manifest the echo if you would like her to. I think get it ready for an attack. Sure. Yeah. Unless it's something that um, he can eat. It is not. I okay. don't think there's anything he can't eat. And yeah. he is everything. Okay. Sorry. Um. Except a monster drawbreaker. As you struggle with that. Troc, can you roll a d10 for me? Oh. I need you to roll oh. a d10. As Nova manifests her... Two. Two? Yep. Tiangong comes out. What? Wait, what? Actually, As in, Tiangong. like, the... Oh. oh, right. Oh. Uh, uh, like, oh, we did it. <laughs> we got him back. Oh, that was easy. Echo one's gone. I'll just pop this one so it's an echo. It's not... It's not it's, Tiangong. It's, the, it's, an, the, it's the, the thing echo. as we know it. Yes, this is the kind of faded, uh, wispy form, shadowy form of Tiangong she's that you've seen. Some sort of you've seen, you've seen, it, you've, you've seen her do this before. Like she's yeah. still, it's the the echo, the memory of Tiangong. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, don't worry about the rest. It just happens, and that's fine. Yeah. As if, as if nothing happened. As if nothing else could have happened. Great. If that was the only thing that was going to happen. Um, all right. End of Nova's turn. Uh, yep. Yeah. Just need to get closer to this boy. Seed of Hadar. Oh. Again! We'll use. Not a legendary <laughs> action this time, but a lair action. Oh. He's getting Larry. Atelicus. <laughs> time to vent some of that powerful magic. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. I need. Yeah. And in fact, I'm going to have to come around. Uh oh, uh oh. He's going to start shooting Ooh. out fire again. I mean, when he was doing this while we were in a mech, it was enough to really badly hit a mech. Oh. And now we're on its back. Yeah. <laughs> we forgot about this. What he's got to do is just put his arm up and just... Just scratch oh, yeah. a bit. Or be like... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. So... Oh, 
so. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Something started falling. So, I need Quill, Ayla, and Lucius. You watch as uh, ridges all along Atelicus's back, starting his head and moving backwards, so moving towards the Seed of Hadar. You begin to see the cracks in the carapace and the armor begin to glow and vent this primordial man magic, and it seems to be going in sequence, moving t closer Ooh. towards the Seed. You guys are at the, the head of the column in this regard. I need you all to make dexterity saving throws, please, as you are within With 10 you. feet of a vent. Ooh, I don't think I am. Ooh, I think you are, Thomas. Yeah. Oh, you're 15 yeah. feet. 15. Yeah, how about Shit. that, motherfucker? Wow. Well. <laughs> an 11, that was terrible. 11? 17. 17, you both <laughs> fail, unfortunately. What? High level time. I just looked at the Tesco bag down there and it says pee pee. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rhiannon! Uh, oh my god. How does it say pee pee? Um, it's like folded. So <laughs> that's oh, probably the yeah. best. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of dice. It is a lot of dice. I'm not done. I'll take a picture. <laughs> yeah, please. Pee pee. Uh, uh, for Brandon, it's like pee pee. Use Wait, pee pee. <laughs> yeah, we both uh, failed. Oh shit. Uh, Lucius and Ayla, you both life. take. 33 acid damage, That's not as bad. the primordial magic seems to have more orange, kind of acidic looking energy into it. I wish Elemental Adept was resistant. Resistance is not. Me. But it's not. It's not. It's like this is. Would you like to use absorb elements? Use your reaction? I think I might this time, so I might half it. Okay. Spend that first level spell slot, and you can half that damage. So I'll add. Ayla, you're next. Oh, I will rage first. Um, then I will. Are you still laughing at that? Is it because Tom's? Sorry, resent the picture. It says use PP. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, the okay. fold in it is perfect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what I will do is... I want to move. <laughs> I've worked this out. Okay. That I think... It's within 60 feet of me now. Okay. So I'm going to throw the hammer at So you can basically like run run across the battlefield, run past sentry. Yep. I'm yep. just going to throw the hammer at it. Please. Alrighty, wicked. Go for it. Please hit. Uh, 15 plus 15, 30 to hit. 30 does hit. You hurl the howling tempest. So... 15 damage plus six. So 15 bludgeoning, six lightning. Okay, 21. And then an additional four lightning. <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> These little giggles coming from Tom. You know you know what it is. It's because Ree's laughing, Tom laughs. It says she's Ree's weeping. crying. <laughs> That's not unusual. 12 more lightning. 12 more lightning. <laughs> and then it comes back to me. All right, I will say, for the purposes in the future, it has no resistance to lightning damage, so feel free to just add it all up together for me. Yes, I was just getting it in my head. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you watch as the hammer kind of like, and it slams into this kind of amorphous, carapace-like shell. Do we need a minute? No, carry on. No, you sure? You're good. I love running combat and having people laugh in the back. It's not, it's, I'm really enjoying the combat. I'm really enjoying it, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> <It's, I'm> really <laughs> <laughs> I'm really immersed. I'm really immersed. Yeah, clearly. Use people. Um, all right. So, Ayla, anything else on your turn? No, I've done everything now. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, in that case, at the end of your turn, it has nothing else. Uh, it can't. It's going to use its last legendary action of the round before its turn again, um, and it is going to create. Uh, Ayla, Sentry, and Quill. It's going to create that pool of tentacles again. I need oh. the uh, strength saving throws from all three of you, please. Rocking. I really slapped that dice. Holy shit. Watch this. That's going Nat 20! Woo! Ding fucking dong. Hell yeah, boys. I feel uh, like it's Alright, so total head. Sentry? 24. Anything 24, success. So <laughs> I got a 15. Failure? 30. 30. 30. Success. Uh, those of you who succeed take half damage. Uh, that's going to be uh, 10 points of cold and 10 points of acid. Uh, so half to uh, five for those who succeed. Didn't affect me, right? Nice. You are not in range. So it's in that little middle area around Quill, Ayla, and Sentry. 
Um, and it does seem to, like, appear, kind of whap you uh, with a bunch of tentacles, and then it disappears. <laughs> 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 Hey. <laughs> I've even told you, Hadar. You we can't just her. say no. That's it. She's done now, by the way. Next time you do that, Hadar, I'm going to punch him in the stomach. This way to go. I can't not get that image out of my head now. Uh, right. <laughs> Thor's Hadar. Well. Uh, is it my good No. It's, it's actual. the seed of Hadar's oh. turn. Actual seed's turn. Uh, none of you have gotten close yet. So what it's going to do is it's going to look around. Ooh, Ayla's right out in the open, and you did hit it. Yeah, I thought so. I We're need taking quite a lot of damage. you, Ayla, to make a... You're going to be angry at me. Uh, intelligence? A wisdom saving throw. It's not as bad as intelligence. Um, a wisdom save. Yes. No advantage, because he sucked me off. Ten. You, get, <laughs> you do get plus... Oh, ten years. I'm 13, you. yeah. You watch as he just looks, um, and you see that eye pulse red, uh, and it's just like, just let your mind break with reality. As the world to Ayla, the barriers between realities and timelines and universes collapses. Uh, as he casts a spell, Reality Break on you. Oh, God. Uh, fuck. You cannot take reactions until the spell ends. Um, at the start of your turn, I need you to roll a, a d10 for me. So you are currently affected by Reality Break. Oh, so is it... It's is at the start of oh. your turn. So just so somebody might be able to free you before that happens, but... Um, so you're like Doctor Strange, going through different realities. Don't move! Like, yeah, like, like <laughs> Ayla's eyes almost like roll up into her head and her body is almost surrounded by... You see like, uh, like almost like a heat haze around Ayla's body as she's just held there for a second, just like... Uh, and you can you're still aware of what's going around you Ayla but like you can feel your body's sluggish to move and like your mind is kind of beginning to unravel and twist not quite having a full effect yet um but none of the rest of you are currently in range so Woo! it is going to just use its entropic blast uh sentry uh two attacks yeah against you uh ooh pretty bad rolls uh, 21 and uh, 16. 21 hits. 21 is going to hit. Alrighty. Uh, ooh, terrible damage rolls. Uh, that is going to be uh, 14 points of necrotic damage. Um, and you cannot regain hit points oh, shit. until the start of your next turn. Okay. Oh boy. A lot of, of that stuff going on, eh? Makes sense. Lucius. Lucius is going to move between this gap, right? Uh, yeah, there's not actually a gap. So imagine that, like, there's a line. I've put the, the walls oh, of flame line. there. So imagine there's, like, a line on the floor, and that's just pulsating magic. But you've already been blasted by it. You can technically move through it as long as you... Uh, uh, actually, no, I would say that, yeah, when you start your turn in it, you'd probably have to make another saving throw. So I'm in it right now. Through. Yeah. Six. Mm -hmm. It won't be as much damage. And that was acid, I believe. So that's going to be 11 points of acid damage. And then you just take your turn normally. All right. I think I should have done that for 8 as well. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. About there. I think I'm in range, 90 feet. I was in 60 feet, so you orb. should be okay. Um, yeah, 90 feet, yeah. you should be fine. So, can I quicken a spell? I'm gonna quicken chromatic orb and follow it up with a fireball. Oh, oh, he's off. Oh, what's he doing? What, what, what'd you Take get? Back. I forgot that. Yeah, there's enough turns have passed. What? Oh, what for the next wall? Yes. Oh, for oh, cool. Take your move back, Lucius. I apologise. I forgot it triggers on round on turns, not rounds. Okay. Wait. So there's now two walls of fire. Two lines. Oh, I wouldn't so imagine gone like there. the first line is like brrr, here. Well, you wouldn't have known this until now. Um, so you, the, that gap in the arm of the carapace is venting this magic, mm. and then after a few moments, the next line closer towards the seed begins to vent and like blast heat up as well. Uh, so I need Ayla, Sentry, Nova, and Quill. I think you're just <laughs> out just out still. again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Middle spot. I'm exactly I'm in the gap. Getting hammered by this one. Yeah. That's sad. Bad guys, bad guys, bad guy. BG, BG. I've taken like BG. 100 points of damage. Uh, so dexterity. Dexterity. You're dead as hell. 
I'm not even gonna heal you. Oh, I've taken what, my. What was it? Dex. Sorry, Dex. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you will keep that. So you still take that damage, the acid damage, but you, you you're obviously gonna move into a different location, I imagine. I will be. Yeah, because this would have happened before your turn. I'm gonna line up with uh, twenty one. Uh, no, uh, Nova, I Wing believe, is going to fail. 21 still fails, unfortunately. Uh, Nova fails. What did we get, Sentry? Yeah, failed on 10. 10? I think that's everybody there, isn't it? Yeah. So 25 instead uh, of 30 movement there. Lovely. Yep. Does it look like where we're standing? There give, me, are... give me a second, just so I'm doing the most. No. No. Answer this question. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Answer it right fucking now. <laughs> yes or no? Well, I think it's um, like a continuous sort of wall that's pushing yes, towards it is. him. So it's like, if anything, the one behind us is going to vanish in a bit. I wonder if it's going to... Oh, well, it's good for you, actually, because it's lightning damage. 34 <laughs> lightning damage. So resistance, you'll half that to uh, 16. Uh, who is Sentry within 10 feet of me? She is, yeah. She gets half then. Nice. Yeah, nice. All right. So, yeah, 34 half if you have resistance. I will do Nova's. So uh, it's one wall moving. not within range. It's uh, so they're multiple. They're not. It's not one wall. Right. That flame wall. I'm going to have to unfortunately move them in a minute. Yeah. But that's still blasting. It's and then the next it's one permanent. is blasting. And you can see uh, it should be if I'm if I've measured correctly, it should be five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, about 30 feet gaps. You can see there's another ridge now in the floor. Now that you've seen the second one, you can see that right. 30 feet ahead of the, the yeah. second line, gaps there's another the gap in the carapace armor, and that's beginning to like glow, right. and then so on and so that on. That was my question, was yeah. is there any sign of a gap where me and Quill are standing? No. For like future rounds, if it were to start, I, I would I would say that you can now that you've seen both of these things activate, you can see that it is a thirty foot gap between these carapace plates. Uh, of which Nova is not in the space of the next one. Oh yeah. wait. Well, she's, but remember, if you start your turn within ten feet of one, yeah. you have to repeat for a lesser damage yeah. save. She's gonna have to move. So it's almost like a rolling wave, but not like a wave. It's like blast, 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 yeah. blast, blast sequence. Mm. Okay. All right. So it's. So I you've moved there. into like a safe position. I believe you're still within 90 Heading feet. down the smoke from the fire and the acid. Yeah. Um, that's acid mostly, isn't it, right? Yeah, so it's acid. That, that one was acid, the next one was do like... a level four chromatic orb quickened. Okay. So it's like mega fast. Okay, go for it. Um, Attack roll, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 17. Total? I'm gonna use seeking spell, okay. uh, not seeking spell. Yep. Whatever mm -hmm. the two sources. Seeking spell? Is it that? Yep. It's been a while. It's been a while, folks. Yeah, that's like 31. Is it going to be a hit? What type of damage? This is uh, ice, I think I said. Okay. So 68. I'll roll it on here because that's a lot of D8. I presume the first one did miss before the seeking Ooh. spell. Yeah. 37. 37 points of cold damage. So you watch as the chromatic orb strikes and you can see the creature, you can see the seed is like, wants to extend its mouth to absorb the energy in, but it's too fast. Slams against it, shards of ice embedding into its body. And it just kind of flexes and then muscle tissue pushes out the shards of ice. But it does strike. Whilst that's happening, mm. I quickened that one so I could throw a cantrip fireball. Mm. Go for it. Just like while he's... Yeah, 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 absolutely. So one hand does that, the other hand does fireball. Nice. Um, 20 to hit. 20 is not enough. You see that the creature doesn't look like it can move or dodge, but this kind of amorphous carapace around it, a part of it like ex extends and like blocks the firebolt and then retracts back Ugh. into like the shell, like it's protecting the creature inside. And I'll just um, call out, we need to stay between the ridges at roughly this distance, otherwise we'll get hit. Good job. Just so it's in character. Sentry. Yeah. Cool. Uh, um, I would like to move up to my... At the start of your turn, I do need to make another uh, dexterity saving throw, please. No problem. Mm -hmm. 15. 15 is not enough, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. use um, uh, 18. <laughs> uh, 18 lightning damage. Nice. I just realized, large sentry... Uh, that is half, because you're near Ayla, so I guess that would be nine oh. lightning damage. Yeah, nice. Large sentry can't possibly avoid or sit no, nicely in this gap. No. You're too big. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's, it's the game I play. Being big. Being big. I would like to use my full movement to go 30 feet. I think I can get you from here, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then bonus action, Misty, step in another oh. 30 feet. 15, 20, 
Like, all right up in there. Right up in his grill, making yeah. two attacks against him. Ah, finally, someone brave. Oh, turns, guardian. I couldn't move further. <laughs> Give us six seconds, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Finally. Nine it's been long eight. since I have consumed guardian energy. Oh, what you excuse him, what? Excuse him, what? 22 is not enough. That yeah. armored carapace kind of Damn. pushes Starbreaker yeah. out the way you have to bring back for a second strike. Fuck. Yep, yeah, as an eight that time, so no hits. Unfortunately, Sentry, you're like, <laughs> and then just it's using this shell, mm. like it's controlling it like a tentacle or a piece of its body to like block and, and deflect these attacks. God, hard, hard armor. Rough as well. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Hard armor. Uh, oh. Keelik and Kalar. Well, at the end of your turn, Sentry, I'm going to use a legendary action. Oh, do it. Uh, and I'm going to attack you with a lashing tentacle. What? Uh, 28. Pretty fucking great, yep. actually. I've got an idea of how to reduce this AC. Yeah. 17 points of bludgeoning damage. 17. Slow it. Okay, okay. Oh. Kill them. Yeah, just kill, kill them. them. Yeah, we'll lower the AC. Nice. Uh, and then we go to Kila Uh Okay, so if I move 5, 10, 15, yeah, I can basically go in between the next gap. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. <laughs> <laughs> that noise! So that should that should be if the last two walls are exactly like the next wall, mm -hmm. uh, should be in the gap. And I will. I really want bacon. He's gonna Make eat the happen. bacon. He could Bacon's eat the bacon, tasty. but he might not eat the bacon. He's probably gonna eat the bacon. He hasn't used enough favor. actions. Century, because you took your turn, you can now be healed again. Oh, okay, cool. So that my slow so until through. the stop. Can you feed him concentration nice. spells? <laughs> or Alterne. I mean, or oh, alternatively, I've already help. taken. I've already taken my go. Help! I fucking tried to help. That would be next. He sucked round. up my spell. Tom, no. what would you like to do? I'm I'm currently losing my brain. Oh, fine. Uh, I will. Maybe help. Maybe. I I, I do I. Know the level of the spell at you, which this is not a spell. You can try and make an arcana check to determine, but it'll be a high DC because this is not a commonly known spell. This is a, a sure. special spell. Arcana. <sighs> Let's just say I'll never know. This is uh, magic. <laughs> this is entropic magic. This is not magic you are super familiar with. Twelve. Um. All right. I will do uh, a. Uh, uh, I will a. Uh, 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 my mind is also unraveling. I'll do a sixth level Connecting mass cure wounds. wounds. Uh, so anyone within 60, which is everyone. Okay. 48 plus 6 healing. Okay. What? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm saying okay. 27 healing to everyone. 27 healing. Nice. Spellbreaker does not help. Oh, cool. At sixth level, okay. Yeah, I imagine it was higher than that, but I mean, still 27, hey, 27. 27. You might do. Yeah, you mm, will. I'd have to roll a natural 20, I think. We'll find out. To get, I think I would have to roll a natural 20. No, there's, there's um, other stuff I can potentially do. Mm -hmm. yep. to break if it's habit. a wisdom save. Yeah, but there's other things your friends can do. Don't I'm going to banish you. Cool, I'll just so, kill. Uh, no, Quill? <laughs> the non-existent Anything else? Alpine. Yeah. Uh, that is... <laughs> the vacuum space. Uh, I'll do a bim and just float That's around. Right. <laughs> Where's that next wall? Please be where I hoped it would be. Comes the wall. Oh, he's basing it on me, so I must be right. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> I'm in the gap. Mind. Do you want to put leave one there so we know what yeah, the? I've got a spare one. Don't worry. Oh, okay. The next one will be a line that way, right through you. <laughs> right in the middle. He's basing it off. Quill. Oh god, he's going to crisscross. Uh, the <laughs> only one that's going to take any damage, and they take damage regardless, is the Echo. So the Echo oh, is right. oh, vaporized. Oh, yeah. um, and that is going to be... That's the lair action. Uh, uh, at the end of your turn, Quill. Seed of Vitar's going to take another legendary action. Oh, yeah. Um, he should. He is going to... He should be good for him. Treat treat yeah. <laughs> Yep, he can hit Nova, Ayla, and Quill oh. with an Arms of Hadar. I need you all to make Strength Same Throws. Can I do? I can't can do, can do it. Can I? Uh, you can, yeah, you're not incapacitated. Oh, right, you just okay. can't take reactions currently. Right. Can he do something? At the start of your turn, a thing will happen. Nope, it's just a normal saving throw. 
Well, I rolled a 19. I got 50 on that dice. 19 plus 30. You are going to be fine. Yeah, you're going to take half damage at least anyway. Uh, Quill, what'd you get? 14. Uh, Quill and Nova are going to take 10 acid, 10 cold. Ailey, you take 5 acid, 5 cold. Are you monitoring her HP? Yeah, I got it. She's dead? She's dead. Mm, she's okay. One with her dark. Uh, she got the healing as well, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't do that. How much was that? 20, 27. 27, I will do that now. I, I'm at, I think it was 47. <laughs> it wasn't. Weird. Uh, that, their action's still active, so that won't trigger you. I healed her so much, she ascended uh, to Ayla, Godhood. I need you at the start of your turn to roll 1d10. Mm-hmm. Two. Two. Vision of the Far Realm. Your mind reels, and suddenly you are not looking at the back of Italicus anymore. You are not looking at the Seed of Padar. You are being flung through astral space far beyond the realms of Aroes, like almost rushing far too quickly for you to process where you are, but you know you're speeding through space, going out to the furthest reaches of astral space, that looming, endless void of darkness where there are no stars. And you fly towards it and you begin to see, as you begin to slow, broken planets that have been like cracked open, the life, the energy sucked out of them, turning into grey dust husks. And then eventually you come to a tear in space and you go through that tear into a realm of endless mouths and eyes and twisting, unknowable helixes of energy. Your very body seems to spiral out, very Wonder Vision kind of like, Fine. you know, multiverse of madness, Doctor Strange, like your mind breaks. Uh, I you vomit take, a little bit. Yeah, you're going to take some psychic damage and you will be stunned until the end of your next Do turn. Do I get to save or anything? Well, that is the effect of you because you failed the save for the. This is the first time the spells had its effect. Oh, so I just and get at nothing. The end of your turn. This turn, yeah. unfortunately, no. You are. It has taken you out of the equation. It's okay though. If you go through the vision frame by frame, you see some banging Easter eggs. Cool. Just like Multiverse of Madness. Uh, 30 points of psychic There's damage. Bang That's not fun. The rest of you see Ayla, <laughs> blood starts coming out of like Ayla's nose, out of her ears, and her body's like vibrating like she's uh, in some sort not of Not having horrible some, trance. so much fun right now, guys. No. Uh, and unfortunately, that is uh, your son until the end of the turn. You do, however, get to make a, another wisdom saving throw. No. Yep. Oh. Uh, what's this? It's not going to. You don't have sentries, so. 20. Unnatural. Unnatural 20 is still not enough, I'm afraid. Yep. See, I literally, I, I don't think I can save. What was that, 18 plus? That was a 19 plus 1. Oh. I don't think I can save. Oh. Uh, I can pop you out of that weird funk you're in. Yep. Drag uh, you back down to earth. But unfortunately, that is at the end of your turn. Uh, crawl, one, two. I think I can anyway. I've got no idea. Uh, and then... Uh, the last thing to do is at the end of your turn, Ayla, the Seed of Fadars can take their legendary action. Just gonna whack Sentry with a little lashing tentacle. What? Whack. Uh, 29 to hit. Yeah. Uh, that is gonna be 18 points of bludgeoning damage, please, Sentry. And then the Seed is gonna take its go. And as you are now within melee range, you see that big carapace around itself. Mm. It kind of turns black, and that carapace itself tries to bite you, like it's ah. going to surround you and engulf you. Can I do a protection reaction? This is against you. I don't think you can protect yourself. Probably not. Unless you have another way of giving me disadvantage, but I don't believe you can protect I don't, thyself. No, no, I can't protect myself. Myself. Right. Entropic more. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Do it. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. Is it that bad? No. Is that bad? I mean, hang on. <laughs> I need to work this out. You saw how many dice he rolled earlier. <laughs> and you're about this to is get a different attack. You've not seen this attack yet. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, he rolled a ton of dice earlier. New beans. New beans. <laughs> <laughs> what is the new beans? We got new beans. <laughs> this guy's never had new beans. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> If you want, just ask Siri. <laughs> What's 400 D8 maxed? Oh no! <laughs> 81 points of force damage. Oh, it's close. And I need you to make a charisma saving throw, Sentry. Cool, 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 cool. Holy oh, no. fuck. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Dice, don't be dickheads today, please. Let's not do this. 
That's a real dickhead dice. That's a real dickhead dice. <laughs> what's, the, what's the total? 14. So you watch. For those of you who can see, Sentry, this thing engulfs Sentry, and Sentry's completely like surrounded by this black carapace that surrounds the seed. It then opens, and Sentry is missing. Oh! Sentry. Hello. You... It all goes black. You feel this force kind of like knock into you. <laughs> like you feel your kind of matrix flicker. And then when you kind of like realize where you are, you're in almost like a, a red chamber. You think it's like a red, almost like a cathedral, like a kind of dome of a cathedral. But you realize that it's not, it's not red because it's painted red. It's like muscle tissue and bone as the structure. And there are mouths on the wall and eyes and you've seen a place like this before. This is Hadar's realm. And there is, you are not alone. There is no exits. You see no doors, no windows. Floating in the middle of the room, you see almost like a, a deep sea squid, but instead of a jellyfish like or like a, a squid's body, it has a single lidless eye and just these long drooping tentacles. <laughs> and it speaks to you in this unknowing, maddening language. But you know that this creature, that you have been transported to some sort of demiplane, and this is its its keeper. This is like the, the warden of this realm. That's where you are. <laughs> what? No! What, what, what is that spell? Is that a thing? It's not a spell. Okay. <laughs> Me? Yep. I mean, if anyone's right, going to yeah. duel with the keeper of like Hadar's Denny plane. It's a new round? Yeah. No, you're at the end of the initiative. Huh. I've got uh, it here. <laughs> I know when you go. <laughs> uh, fuck. Um, I guess I just keep blasting okay. for now. Sure. So, well, I'm. Yeah. How do we get Sentry back? I mean, <laughs> as far as the rest of you are concerned, Sentry was there, this thing bit her, and now she is not there. You are well, everyone's always She's free to make... She's dead! You can make one free arcana check if you want to try I to figure out what happened. I'm busy there. losing my mind. Sars. 10 plus 6, so 16. Oh, I just realized Nova didn't go, I don't think, so I need to do Nova's oh, yeah. in the end. I'll do that in a minute. 21? Uh, what did you get? 16. 16. 21. This will count for your next turn then, Quill. Sure. So you won't be able to do this on your turn. Lucius, you're not sure. Like, maybe it's the panic, the fear of seeing Sentry, this amazing warrior that you admire, just vanish. You're not yeah. sure. Quill, you've seen planar transportation magic. You've seen demiplane magic. You've seen Valor's magic. This is very similar. Okay. Sentry has been sent, like a banishment spell. Like, she has been banished or sent to a, a another plane or a demiplane or something. That is what you know. Hmm. 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 What'd you get? Twenty-one. So yes. Yeah. You would say I'd say with a twenty-one, you have a feeling that like this is connected to the seed itself. Um, maybe damaging it might be able to bring her back, almost like breaking concentration, maybe. Okay. Um, or something like that, but you're not sure. But you don't oh. think it's hopeless, but. Uh, you suspect that if this were you, you would have an easy... You would maybe be able to use the, the book to transport yourself oh, back yes. or something like that. Sentry doesn't have any powers like that, as far as you know. So I'm going to reactively blast then on my go. Yeah, sure, go for uh, it. Tell me what you want to do. Quickened chromatic orb to make sure he doesn't suck it up. Okay. You don't... Uh, I will say this, by the way, you don't necessarily need to quicken it every turn. Like, I'm going to do the fireball yeah, combo. If you want to, yeah, if you want to do the combo, that's fine. But I'm the instantaneous spell, you can't again. absorb. Again. Okay. I've got a nat 1 just then. That'd be very bad. Ooh. That would be that. pretty bad. You want a nat 20. I don't think you should roll that dice. <sighs> I think that dice needs to go. Send, go, this send it away. Yeah, we got, we got the dice gel. Where is it? There he is. Look, he's getting full. <laughs> You've got Scrungly in there, by the way. Scrungly's, Scrungly's over here. No. Oh, okay. He's over here. Good. Nice. Well, Lucius, I'm afraid that, yeah, the Chromatic Orb, it almost seems to be ready for this combo. It's seen you do it once before, and the creature doesn't even try and absorb it this time. That kind of carapace, like the teeth that bit Sentry away, just whoosh, grabs the orb out of nowhere and just whoosh, nothing All happens. Right. Uh, I will th still try and... Throw the Firebolt. Um, throw the Firebolt. Sure, sure, sure. Better than nothing, eh? Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You're right there, bud. <laughs> no, 
What was that? A six. Oh plus God. 13. Uh, 19. 19 is not enough. <laughs> Blocks the firebolt as well. I mean, that was a bad roll. It um, was. Yeah, they all were. your magic just poof, 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 has no effect against the seed. Yeah, I'm just panicking. Um, Makes sense. That they take a sentry. Uh, we jump back up to the very top of the round. Sentry. Hmm. What do you do? Um, this creature is, and it, it. I will tell you now, it's not friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Send me back. I mean, you can make a persuasion check if you would like. <laughs> Are you intimidated, or it's like this is more intimidating? Oh, intimidate, actually. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, just. I'll let you do this as a free action. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. If this were a sentient mortal creature you think your words might have had at least some effect. Whether or not it would actually do what you said, you might be able to see that it was scared or intimidated or even angry. There is no human intelligence here. This is mad. This creature is insane. And your words are literally meaningless to it. It just doesn't even register them. It sees you as life to be consumed. Oh shit. It is not gonna be pleasant. Okay. Uh, that was a free action. I won't, that won't take up your action or anything like that. I will use all of my lay on hands points on myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How many is that? 95. 95. Holy oh, yeah. I mean, when you're on 15 hit points and completely on your own, that's probably a good oh, idea. Shit. You're on 15? Yeah. yeah. On 15. Yeah. Going to this. She Hadar just took 80 <laughs> something points of damage before she went. I there. crit on that attack. Yeah. And it does 86 points of damage. And she was hit by What's the your things max? before then. 189. We've oh, actually okay. been hit by quite a lot, like along the way. Yeah. It's really chipped away. Yeah. Oh, you also got hit by two walls as well. Yep. Yep. And the mech stuff. Yeah. And yep. the, yeah. Yep. Uh, all right, so that's lay on hands. I think that's that's your action. Any bonus yeah. actions or move actions? This room, by the way, is big enough. It's only maybe like 30 feet across. Yeah. So, like, you don't have to worry about being in range. You can just move up to it and get in range of this thing. Um, I don't fight it. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> I kind of do, though, but do I? <laughs> uh. I might uh, just... Would you like to do anything else? You mean like a, a move and a bonus action? I'd let you like if you want to do a, like a perception check, or if you want to do like a like try and figure out what this thing is, or like if you want to do any of that stuff, I'd let you make a check um, for a bonus action. Yeah, I'll, I'll just try and figure out what this thing is. Yeah, sure. This would be a I would say religion or arcana check. Both of those. Are... Oh, really? Oh, or an insight oh. check. Insight. Yeah. Interesting. Whichever bonus is higher. Uh... Religion, I've got 21 with religion. 21. You don't know what this thing is, but you hear a voice coming from the Matrix. Oh. You hear Ooh. Root. Sentry, that is a mind witness, one of Hadar's minions. You will not be able to leave this place while it still lives. Many guardians have been sent to these realm, prison realms before. Okay. And I will... Focus on getting rid of it. All right. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Nova, because we didn't actually do Nova's turn last time, and I don't want to miss it. I forgot to do it last time. Uh, can we just do uh, Eldritch Blasts <laughs> just yeah, to make yeah, this yeah, a bit yeah, easier yeah. at the at the bad boy? It's probably what she would do uh, anyway. So this is four beams. Uh, Tommy, roll me four attacks plus eleven each. Uh, what the ice? D twenty. Oh, oh, attacks. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, first one is a 13 plus. Uh, 11. 24 is a 24, hit. 24. 25. Hit. Uh, 28. Hit. 18. Uh, last one doesn't, so that's three hits. They're 1d10 plus. Uh, she does have Hexblade yeah. Curse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gotta find out what that does. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jeez. Hexblade Curse adds six. Uh, were any of those 19s, by the way? No. Okay. Uh, adds an extra six. So this is plus 11 damage. So D10 plus 11 for each one. And there was three. 12. Oh, Tom. That dice is gone. Uh, 12. Wow. Yep. 16. So that's uh, 24. Uh, 40 points of damage, though, across all three beams. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, I mean, like, you say that you rolled those ones, but 40 points of damage. Yeah. Um, Century. Yeah. Because technically this would have well. happened whilst you're in the prison realm and because I fucked up on the initiative. So um you watch as that mind witness seems to almost shudder for a moment, and you do see like parts of it like it's been struck by something that you can't see. Um oh, cool, okay. Uh great. 
Uh, so that was that. So then we go to to Quill. Uh, oh. Okay. Um. Do that next time. Uh, I am going to. This is a new round now. This is yes. a brand new round, Jess. Yeah. Technically, Sentry is at the top of the initiative. Oh, so yeah. Whenever Sentry goes, it's a new round. But I just forgotten over last time, so I thought I'd quickly throw in those Aldrich Blasts. When I, I did miss the... out on potentially 40 points of damage. When I did the Arcane uh, check, Arcana check, Arcana yeah. check on Ayla, mm -hmm. is this a charm thing? You didn't do an Arcana check on Ayla. Uh, oh. You failed it. Oh, yeah, I failed it. I never knew. I mean, it looks charming. Charmy. It looks cursy. I want a greater restoration. Um, okay. So. What does great restoration do? Read out the spell specifically <clears throat> to me, please. One effect that charms or petrifies the target. One curse, including the target's attunement to a curse magic item. Uh, any reduction to ability scores or one effect reducing hit point max. So it's basically curses or charms or petrification. I'm afraid to say, Quill, as you lay your little hands on Ayla and channel this magic through, trying to purge whatever this effect is. And what level is Great Restoration? Fifth. There is, she is still trapped in whatever has been done to her, I'm afraid. It's not a charmed effect. It is not. Shit. Not little hands. I, I will tell you now, it is not a charm effect. It is not a remove, it is not a curse. It is a spell. It is a magical sure. effect. Uh, I will tell you it can be dispelled. Um, but it is not necessarily a, a curse or a, an enchantment. Yeah. She, her mind has literally been driven mad. And, like, she's being shown things beyond this realm. This is not, a, like, an enchantment, necessarily. Does Nova have to spell? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, okay, that's... Uh... Nova does not have to spell magic from what I can see. Have you got it? I do, yeah. Um, but I figured the Greater Restoration would have been the better option. No, unfortunately, it is. Nope. The greater restoration is specific <laughs> to what it can remove, and this is not any of those things. Okay. Um, and I can't bring out Elder Quill because that was in the Titan fight. Uh, so I am going to stay in the gap. Okay. Of the wall. Again. Yeah. At the end of your turn, the next line would appear, but nobody's there. At this point, the, the vented magic is no longer going to be relevant. So I'm just going to. Oh, including the ones at the back. Oh, is that to just like shove us all forward? Or or separate us. Just put us in the gaps. So it's just not up at all just now? Yeah, it all goes, the, it's kind okay. of like... It, oh, and eventually need fades. to remember where these uh, spaces are, if it happens again. Who says it'll go the same way? That's Don't make it go about. vertical. That's why I, that I was asking about the, yeah. if there's any potential. I've been playing lots of MMOs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Uh, we go to uh, Nova Vija. This is properly Nova's turn. What would you like Nova to do? I'd like Nova to help Ayla in some fashion. I don't know what Nova would smartly think of being smart. Uh, Nova's, uh, Nova can make a she check. She'll do an Arcana probably. Yeah, she'll make an Arcana her. check. Uh, 19 uh, plus 9, 28. Yeah. Um, Oh, um, well, uh, Hadar's realm, the far realm, uh, he, he can inflict like madness and things like that. I, uh, it, it's, it's some sort of spell, but I, I can't dispel it. I don't, I, I can't dispel magic. But if, I think if, I mean, Quill, you've, you've seen you remove effects before. I think, I think this spell might be maybe eighth sort of circle, eighth power level. <laughs> ah, nice. Eight, okay. Jesus Christ. Eight. But I do think that once, if, if, if we can get her out of it, I don't think he'll be able to use it against Ayla again. <laughs> oh, against Ayla. Um, and then I guess she would move and blast. Blast? Yeah. Or blast from there. She'd probably blast from there. No, blast. No. She wanted to blast. She did last time. Knowing right. Kim. All right. Yeah. Make, uh, can you make these for this? Is plus 11, four Eldritch Blasts. Or she'd step out and then step back in yeah. again. Yep. That's, like, that's, that's what Kim would do. Yeah, do all... You're going to roll all four at once. I love it. Plus 11 to each. Or any a 19. And yeah, any 19s are crits. Dirty. 30, <laughs> 30, 30 hits. 24. Wait, is that that is that first like must 19? be 19? 19. That's right, so yeah, that's a crit. a crit. And then next one? 24. Hits. What's this? Another 19. Oh, she got two crits. And a uh, six there, so that's... Holy All right, crap. so one normal hit and then two crits. Oh, uh, shit. So the crits are going to be 21 plus a d10 each. So roll two d10s. You're about to get vomed up, Sentry. Uh, just do them individually, just because it's going to make this a lot easier for me. Five. Uh, so 21, so 26 for the first crit. 25 for the second. 
25 for the second, and then the last attack is 1d10 plus 11. Uh, 14. 14. So that gives us a total of... That was a pretty good... Uh, uh, 65 total Woo! damage across all three beams. Two, Two crits. crits. That's, yeah, I should that Hexblade good. curse, awesome. man. Like, holy crap. Yeah, that helps. Uh, so 65 points of damage to the Seed Thank of Hadar. That's great. Uh, Sentry. Hello. Again, as you're kind of preparing to fight this thing, you watch as it's almost being struck by three blows. Like, do I like, know what they, having seen over mm, fight, do I know? No, because you're just seeing it react. Okay. You're not actually seeing the blows, but you're seeing it's like flesh, like undulate as it's like being blasted by something invisible. Uh, so that would be like two. Uh, and it looks here. bad. Like it, it looks like whatever it's hitting it on the outside is like affecting looks it pretty bad, badly. Nice. Bad. Um, right. So uh, is that it for Nova's go? We. Oh no, D and D Beyond, no, no Did crash. I can't a check and. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come back. She'd stay behind cover, right? She'd uh, stay behind cover. Yeah, I think she. That, and also, it makes it a lot simpler for us. Like we can just kind of focus on that. For oh, now. also, I would have had to have moved up to you to do that. Yes. Restoration. I'll resume. Oh, I oh, fell. Thank God. I'm back up. So. As uh, the seed looks at you all, it's, and it like look, it's looking in Nova's direction, like yes. Callus's little whelp. Whelp. Mm. Well, you're all very capable. Let's see how we fare in a different environment. Oh no! Dive, Atelicus. As Atelicus plunges oh, into oh, the oh. control the whole battleground. Yeah. I can breathe underwater. This is okay. Me and Nova are fine. The I boys, need though. everybody to immediately make a strength saving throw. Everyone on the battlefield. <laughs> oh, I want to go to that realm. <laughs> the little red box, I'm all right. I was looking for my dice and I realized 32. it's in jail. But you're going to be fine. Oh. Mm. Well, you're going oh, to be pushed a little bit, but not as much as the rest. I would offer you mine, but I don't think it'd be much better. Anyway. <laughs> I got a 19. 19, still not a success. I got a natural six. Six! Nova gets a 15. Everybody but Ayla, you are basically uh, a telecast. So when he dives, he kind of rolls into the seat to the side. Uh, all of you are going to be pushed to one side, except Ayla, who's only pushed a little bit. She's going mad, but she's still holding on. Oh, we all just basically all the way to the edge. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, is it waterlogged or is... Oh, you are. So, underwater. everybody, you are now underwater. All the rules for underwater combat affect you. You have enough time to grab uh, a minute's worth of air. Um, so you each have, uh, which is 10, 10 rounds, so you've got a long time. Uh, keep in mind, if you try to cast spells with a somatic component or speak verbally, you immediately begin to suffocate or choke. Oh, uh, At the start, well, uh, creatures with a swimming speed um, don't have to worry about disadvantages on attacks or things like that. Everybody else is basically difficult terrain to try and swim. Oh, um, God. Yep. Uh, if you are not, uh, if you are not able to anchor yourself, you will be pushed back uh, towards the star spawn because the current will be pushing you uh, in the direct the towards spawn. the spawn. Yeah. Right. Um, so it's going to drag you towards it. In fact, um, no if you uh, use certain types of weapons, you have disadvantage on attacks unless you have a swimming speed. So Ailey, you're fine, but everybody else needs to remember that. Uh, ranged weapons, if it's a physical weapon, also has uh, disadvantage if it's beyond a certain realm, and you have fire resistance whilst you're underwater. But you are like underwater at this point. Does Nova have a swimming speed? I think she does because she, well, she can breathe underwater. She can hold her breath for basically okay, but an she infinite amount so, of time. So she can but blast. But if she speaks, but... she still begins to suffocate. Like it's, she can hold, as long as she has a breath, Nova doesn't, can hold that forever. But if she Gosh. speaks, that goes. Right. Like she begins choking as well. And she doesn't have a swimming speed. So no verbal spells. I was just spells. checking for her huh? spells. No verbal spells, basically, unless we want to start suffocating. Yeah, I mean, you, you basically, you'll have time to get spell one spell off and then you would begin to choke. I'm out. I've, I've got, uh, yeah, not, nothing is not verbal. <laughs> I was just going through my list, like, B, 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 Like I said, you can, you can cast one, and then you'll be like, <clears throat> you're going to have oxygen. Unless you have another way of giving, giving yourself oxygen, or allowing yourself to breathe underwater, I want or... to gust into my own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Nova used to have water breathing as a spell, but I don't think she has that anymore. <gasps> mm, I think we've had to get a scroll every time yeah. we've had it. Yeah. 
Do I still have that scroll? Oh, we'll find I think out, we won't we? Bought a couple. Um, but yeah, no. that is the state of affairs, oh. by the way, for everyone. So you are now underwater. Uh, <sighs> remember FF10, kind of like on the back of Sin. Stop playing like MMOs. Being dragged underwater. I do remember vividly. Uh, because Ayla it's the best final fantasy is next up. Oh. And because you played it through uh, D10? recently. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> at the start of your turn, I do need you to roll a D10. Yes, please. Six. Six. Ah, interesting. Wormhole. So, whilst you are in this realm of madness and you begin to feel your mind breaking, just agonizing pain and sights that you can't even comprehend, something seems to open up in front of you and pulls you through it. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, you are physically teleported in the physical realm. Um, you're going to take some damage, but this will end the maddening reality break. Uh, it is, however, a lot of damage. Oh, great. I don't think I have enough dice. I'm going to have to roll this. <laughs> That's always a good sign. Fantastic. I'm having a real good time. It's hey, okay. you're like out of it, though. He only has two dice. Right? Yeah. That's why he doesn't it's have to. It's got to be it. Yeah. 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 Yeah? He's still counting. I'm not even done, mate. Yeah, this is going to be real shit. And I'm not going to be able to be with you guys either. You got 170 million HP. You're fine. 170 million? Man, oh that's God. a lot of health. No, I'm reading that right. Million. Ayla. Billion. Take 75 force damage. Yep, that sucks a bunch. And you are teleported. I am now not pleased. <laughs> Wait, what? You are teleported 30 feet closer towards the seed. Uh, and you are kind of knocked prone, irrelevant because you're swimming. <laughs> um, but it kind of, yeah. you, and you feel your mind come free of this maddening reality break effect. Uh, you are now immune to that effect for 24 hours. So that spell can never affect you again for the next okay. 24 hours. And that's just fine. Don't have too much uh, hit points. Yeah, but you kind of come out of it and you feel like your body's been stretched and ripped and pulled as you are yanked through this portal. Mm. Um, Did you enjoy a visit to my home? I am assuming my turn is over. Uh, that is at the start of your turn. Oh, good. I'm going to hit that thing then, please. Uh, yeah, so you want to swim up? Yeah, I have a swim speed. <laughs> 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 so you're kind of like yanked out of this portal and immediately like... <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two, yeah, misses, but yep. it's close. Uh, 50, 30 to hit. That will hit, however. Uh, hit that nasty boy. <laughs> that 22 eight. bludgeoning, mm -hmm. 6 lightning. So 28. Plus a deck save. Uh, yes. That's a failure. Oh, actually, I don't know. Uh, 21. I think you're going to recognize... 18 lightning, you take half a deck. Uh, so 9 points of lightning damage. You watch as like the hammer blow crunches into the carapace around it, and you watch as it cracks and splits. And there is a moment of like a wince from the the seed of Hadar, like, uh, and then the lightning kind of dissipated a little bit from the water, but it does kind of shock through the creature. Mm, strong, aren't you? I will enjoy feeding on your strength. Mm. Uh, anything else, Ayla, on your turn? I'm out of everything now. You're out of everything. Uh, okay. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to jump to the Seed of Hadar's Go. Uh, and it is going to... Uh, now that... Whoop. All right. It does not refresh its Entropic more, so it's going to make two lashing tentacle attacks against you, Ayla. Uh, that is going to be a 22 and a 28. Both hit. Uh, that is 18 points of bludgeoning damage each. Half that, so nine points of bludgeoning from both. Uh, so 18 total. Whack, whack. And then it's going to look around and... <gasps> Quilly boy. Hey, what up? It looks at you. Perhaps you would enjoy your mind being no. awoken. I need you to make is a... a spell? Wisdom save. This is a spell. I want to count a spell. Well, it's well, technically a power. Yeah. Uh, but I will allow it. Count a spell at level uh, fucking eight. Okay. All right. 
I will I will say for the purposes of this, I, it is a magical effect. It is basically a spell. Uh, you watch as it looks towards Quill and it begins to, and you see it is the same thing it did to Ayla. Its, it's eye glows and you watch as Quill's eyes begin to roll back as some dark force takes presence. What does this look like for Lucius? Because this isn't like a spell like on its way to Quill. It's already beginning to affect him. So how does your counter spell, this powerful eighth level counter spell, protect Quill? I imagine there would be a flicker of the prismatic mastery like true sight <laughs> and I can see like through Quill. Mm. Well, you see that now, like with the true seeing kind of like that kind of beyond the realms of magic, you see that that black lightning is almost like wrapping around him, like around his face and hands and like reaching into his eyes. Yeah, I can just feel my innate energy just rip that energy out. <laughs> Rah, Quill, you, you can feel your mind was about to break. And then Lucius, you feel this warmth and cooling breeze and the the smell of Lucius's kind of home in this in the storm chaser's cabin and then suddenly you are like underwater still holding your breath but yeah this thing had gripped you and was about to take you with it nice uh, well you are now immune to that effect for 24 hours fuck yeah Good shit. When I hit the the duty, what's it? Did uh, did sentry? That is a very yeah. good point. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you did uh, twenty two plus a bunch of other damage. Uh, let me just check this thing as well. Uh, yeah, it, uh, sentry. You do see uh, almost this time, like was being electrocuted. Like it just kind of shudders for a moment. But still up. Having a good day. <sighs> no. Um, You're just going to stand there and gloat at this thing, aren't you? You're like, All right. Mm. You kept me in here, but you forgot about uh, those guys, huh? Uh, alrighty. Uh, after the seed of Badasco, uh the mind witness. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, it looks pretty injured, Sentry. Honestly, like looking at it, like whatever is happening, yeah. it does look pretty weakened. Um, it is going to shoot three eye rays at you, oh, however. Uh, and I'm going to randomly determine these. Oh, what the colour of them or uh, what they do. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Uh, one, four, and two. Uh, all right, I need you to make a charisma saving throw for me first. Alrighty. And then a deck yep. save. Uh, 23 for the first one. All right, you are you resist its effect. Dex is not great, that's a 12. That uh, oh, no, it's a d12. I just rolled a d12. <laughs> roll a d20, that will help. <sighs> Egypt. Right you now. still got, like... Nine. Quite high on the D twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty one. Okay, you both both you dodge the foot or like you resist the effect of the first one. It tries to Can't like get that on the D twelve. Twenty on the D twelve. All right. So the first one, which is good, because that last one was going to be an intelligence saving throw. Oh. Um, so the first one, you kind of it hits you, and you can see like it tries to fill your mind with scary images and images of fear, but you faced far worse. Like, you've stared into a lot worse than what this thing has shown to you and it has no effect. The second ray, you actually manage to dodge and it kind of strikes the wall. And then the last one, kind of this thin purple beam goes into, like, the center of your mind. But maybe because you're a guardian and it didn't really know how to treat you initially, like, it just seems to have no effect on you. It just doesn't seem to do anything at all. Um, uh, yeah, and all of its uh, attacks fail. It does sort of, like, float up in the air, trying to move away as best as it can, but it's not going to be able to get far enough. Damn. And then Lucius, and I think this is uh, going to be our last... Turn of the session. Um, you should lose the lily. End of Man. turn. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, 120 feet slow on nice. the Hadar. Okay. Seed. All right. So what kind of save do I need to make? You need to make the following save, which I have prepared for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. The save will be. A wisdom save. He rolls a three. He rolls a three. Plus wisdom. Uh, 18. Succeed? No. Oh, 19. Great. Legendary resistance. <gasps> Ah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, let me use them. Uh, it's, uh, you do see that the spell takes effect, so like, you see its movements begin to form sluggish, mm. and it sort of looks... No. And it's like glass shatters around it. And it's almost like... There is a reality where that spell did work, and then it sort of overlays itself with another version of itself where that spell didn't affect it. Mm. And it just... And it just... Lucius' head explodes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, but that is one of its legendary resistances used. This turn. Yeah. Dang. 
that was my action. And you know what? Because I do hate like the whole like you save nothing happens. I'll say that rather than uh, because slow means it like only gets one attack and it gets Minus a lower AC, AC and stuff yeah. and stuff. I will say I will lower the AC, but it gets its full complement of attacks purpose. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's now split between two realities. Yeah, one where yeah. it failed and succeeded. Yeah. It's Schrodinger's Hadar. Does it go mad? Um, no, it's already, it's, no, it's already mad. Head uh, It's already mad. But yeah, yeah, I'd say that it does maybe like minus one to its AC as like a compromise, right? Yeah. It did save, but it will. It's still somewhat sluggish or distracted by the spell. Cool. Um, and that's like for a minute until it saves, right? Yeah. I'll do it until the end of its next round. Um, how about that? Sure. Because I think that like when a spell is like it works or no, they save, nothing happens. I'm like especially that at that cost yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah it sucks. Um, all right, cost, yeah. cool. Uh, well, if that's you done, Lucius. I will also do a bit of sorcery point fudgery. Okay. Do you need the specifics? Uh, no. Did not. No, I trust you. Uh, yes, because she did the big crits. Lucius rolled them. Yes, yes. Uh, at the end of Lucius' turn, before we wrap up for today, uh, the spawn of Hadar is going to use a legendary action to shoot an, uh, an entropic beam at uh, Lucius. Uh, that is going to be a b -b -b 23. Mm. Mm. Lucius, you're going to take 12, 17 points of necrotic, and you cannot regain hit points until the uh, start of your next turn. Okay. So we have to try and remember that, because that's it right for today. this episode of High Rollers. Tommy, you're making a face? I think I healed someone. Nope, Sentry had already had her turn. It's fine. I was on top of it. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, my friends, is going to be the end of today's session for High Rollers. Hey, thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed that one. I enjoyed that one immensely. I am loving yes. this Hadar yes. boy. Yeah. Oh, good. Although, good. I am still underwater. I'd like to be upseas, please. Upseas? Well, we'll have to find out what's happening. Oh. It. I'm dumb. Slow wow. is a verbal. So I've used my breath. Oh. Okay, I'll note, I'll note that down too. Yeah. Just write something. And keep in mind. Oh, I was going to do something else. And also keep in mind. <laughs> You can't regain hit points until the start of your next turn, and you will choke. And you're choke. the end of the turn as well. Remind me next time. That yeah. you will choke and suffocate. <laughs> that. Yeah. But also... That you're going to choke and suffocate. I've got an item on me which I've had since we had a guest on. Oh. 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 No way! <laughs> now is the time! Now he is That's what I was going to do. I'm well, dumb. We've got to see, see if we can last. You've got to see if we can last. Uh, you, there is, like, choking. By the way, you have, like, basically a round. What's Lucius's con modifier? Oh, yeah, it depends on your con. Plus two, I think. All right. You might be okay for a couple of rounds then. But, uh... You're right. All right. So, with that, that is going to be it. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Hey, um, well, actually, that's the end of this part. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next time do the thing and then live it'll be yeah. See you then. and yet Saved you still it. gave so me clean. so much to cut out at the end yeah. there no it's fine like, leave it in it's fine <laughs> see you next time man and we should probably cut this bit no, no. <laughs> that's the high rollers magic Tom that's the high rollers magic it's how we roll uh, hey, it's how we roll. Hey, oh gosh, sorry guys, we tricked you. This isn't live. What? <laughs> no, we didn't. Oh, yeah. That's right. This is recorded. Twenty twenty one. I'm in America right now. Yeah. Um, which means that there's no messages to read out. We're so sorry. Uh, but hey, don't worry. We will read them all out when we're next live. We'll yes. keep all your messages, all your donation messages, all your subbies, all your gifts. Yeah. We're still gonna read all that stuff out. And thank you very much. Just make sure you join us next time. Thank you for us to say all that live and in person. But. Uh, Hey, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to do all that stuff, like sharing it with your mates and commenting and telling us your favorite bit and all that kind of good stuff. Feed that algorithm, baby. Mm. Otherwise, we'll become irrelevant and fade into nothingness, just like wow. Hadar wants. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Uh, don't, Bye. Christ, don't let Hadar win. <laughs>